Might have been Dave actually. I really was. Did you see? Did you see? Uh, I was a fan. I watching it. Old series. His old skits. Back mm. when he's in a com- comedy sketch group. Nah. Who, Dave or... Nah, he's talking about Donald Trump. Oh, nah. Bro, that was the first time I was Derek exposed Combin? to him. Yeah. Bro, I was... You can cut this shit off. You want to see yeah, that? Nah, nah, nah. Because if niggas is talking about the Derek comedy, bro, some of them shits were funny as fuck, bro. I'm seeing Keyboard them. kid... That's the bro, funniest bro. one, bro. <laughs> bro. I just saw you remember Opposite Day, bro? Yeah. I saw that shit on TikTok the other day. I completely forgot about the sketch crew, bro. I was just uh, like, I can't believe I was introduced to this guy like 15 years ago and you to didn't, that, bro. And he became me? a legend. And you would never know like what he'd actually become. Exactly. Because it went from that. And it's like, my brother's like, yo, you know that guy who made those videos? He, he's now um has a stand-up special on Comedy Central. I'm like, for yeah. real? We watched it. And it was like, this shit's not funny, bro. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Like weird. I was like, bro, no, bro. That shit was. How many specials does he have? And then he said, "Yo, has one. He has like other like stand up stuff." I didn't like his stand up stuff. Really? And then he's like always releasing music, bro. And then I listened to Campfire, whatever. I was like. Yeah, I don't like this, bro. Really? Wow. Yes, bro. I did not like it. Camp is pretty chips. I'm not gonna lie. And then Community. And I fucking love Community. And I was on board from there, bro. Everything he did after Community, I was like, bro, this shit is hard. That timeline is so interesting. Like those being like the like the the way that you were introduced to like the each individual points. thing is wild. Cause it's like the comedy was like first, you know what I mean? But it was like he was always doing music. Mm. I was listening to the music two thousand and eight. For real? <laughs> it was chips, bro. <real. laughs> <Yo. laughs> so you like Cootie. You would dig around if a child is Gambino. It just worked out. I didn't follow that nigga around, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that that nigga's hard though. That is my favorite artist, but it's not like Favorite I don't know. all time? I think he'll give him that. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's crazy. I think it's fire. So because the out. internet definitely changed. Changed. For sure. For sure. If you guys can only have one aspect of Childish Gambino, if only one had to exist, it's like the acting, the actor, the director, or the music side of it. I think or the even actor, comedian. director should be a bundle. I was about to say that. Uh, I was like, I don't uh, think should bundle those up Probably together. The, I'll take that. I'll still say the music. music, yeah, music I consume the sure. music way more than I consume the television show. Wait, wait, wait. Is, are you saying we get one of those attributes or we can only keep one from him? Oh, for him. I'll you feel me? So like, oh, I'm keeping the music. If you yeah. keep like the music, you'll have all his albums and projects. Yeah. If you keep the directing and acting, you'll have the shows that he's done, shows that he's been on. Then you again, could, anyone could have played Troy in Community. That's then again, Not like anyone. But could but have like, anybody made Atlanta. I'm going to change my nah, answer. But Atlanta, I'm going to change my answer. Because there's a lot of dope artists out there. Versus there's not too many amazing black directors that I watch. You feel me? That I'm hip to. So I think I'd rather keep Atlanta and then his music career, you know, it could go. Nah. Man. I watch yeah. way more what, hours Atlanta of Atlanta than career? I've listened to hours but, like, of That's not the scenario we're going off of. All right, wait, hold up, hold up. Because Atlanta's good. Atlanta's Shot great. Well. Great. I'm saying great. I'm saying it's good, it's great. bro. I'm saying it's, it's good. amazing. I was going to say amazing. What's the Knox? What's the Knox? Yeah. What's the Knox? I haven't seen it in so long, bro, but it didn't leave a lasting impression on me to where I can just say that I, I loved it. It's you a think lot it's of classic episodes. One of, that, one of the last is? scenes where he goes into like the... Um, um, the airport? Not the airport. When he's opening up the the locker store. Exactly. And that's where he's that living. That shit was hard. Mm-hmm. That hit me. Like that's mm-hmm. season one. Yeah. That season, the end of season one was cool. But like, did you watch season two? Yeah, like Teddy Perkins. Teddy Perkins, legendary the barbershop. Episode, bro. The barbershop, a legendary episode, like, you know, bro. When he when they were kids, the kids, fools. the Fubu, uh, Fubu. <laughs> Fubu episode's crazy. That's a legendary Fubu. episode. I feel bro. like I'm missing die. some shit, right? Oh nah, you gotta go back and watch Wait, that that's second the season. I never understood, but the nigga killed himself. That little yeah. kid, yeah, over yeah, his shit being like... real. Wait, exactly. Cause I you never know. You never know what someone's going through. Huh? You don't remember that episode. You gotta, gotta, watch, you gotta go back. You gotta watch There's no way I didn't see you, the you, second season. You watched Teddy I feel like Teddy I had Perkins? To. Teddy Perkins? No, what's that? Like the play yeah, on Michael Jackson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you watched the second season. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go back and watch it. You gotta watch the second I season. Guess, I guess I saw it in bits because it made no sense to me at all, bro. No, I think you watched it. the first season for sure. Like him going to jail. And that was all the first season? Yeah. yeah. And then the dude with um, so retro spectro, like what about the, the episode face? where the dude was is going episode. around doing all these chores just to get like a dog at the end? Was that the first season? That was the first second season. That was second season. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that no. was no, no, that was season one. That was season one. Season, season, season two, yeah. he they finally got the, got the bread. Yeah. He got the sword, got traded the, the sword, then yeah. he got some paper. And he was like, black people are too busy being poor. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was like, I told you I was gonna make it work. Yo, you gotta watch season two. Yeah, you gotta see season two. That's why you're not. That's not season two. Legendary, like that explains everything. You got how it starts. What's the first song? It's the it's the Take K song. When it was in the line, when it was in the, mm. the, the, that fast food oh, yeah, restaurant, yeah, yeah, that was the first yeah. opening scene, bussing. 
Yeah, Robin season. robbery, yeah. Robin season, you feel me? I, I gotta watch the whole thing. Niggas got nah, shot. Hey, we season robbed. two is when it sold me like, <laughs> oh, this is crazy. So Sorry if you weren't that. sold by season one, by season two, you're gonna be like, oh shit. When does it come back? Season three? When does it come back? It's soon. Soon. like two weeks or something like that. <laughs> That's, very five. Soon. That's five. Bussington. I'm gonna catch up just in time too. Gotta see that. I'm Shout so excited for that. Man. It's gonna be busting. Nah, yeah. Um, bro, the content that's been dropped in this like period of time, legendary. Like Bel Air is an emerging show that's fire. You got oh, Snowfall sure. that came back this past week. Um, Power been doing his thing. This nigga Nate said so you fell asleep at the first episode. I did. It was boring. <laughs> of what? Oh, Snowfall. Snowfall. It was boring. But the thing is, I'm going to give them slack because when you're that deep into your series, like what, season five? Like the first episode was almost like a recap. I think it's also you know just mean? like, I forgot how boring Snowfall is hmm. like in general. Like I don't really think that show is that interesting. It's just a bunch of stuff happening like sometimes. You got to wait for the build up. But hey, it's Young Rob on the mic. It's St. E's to the right. That's good, gang. Nate Nick's in the room. Hello, how you doing? And we got a special guest host on this week's episode of Bad for the Community. We got the talented Max Moody in the building. Can we make some fucking noise? That's my job. Glad to be here. Yes, sir. I'm taking your job, <laughs> nigga. Max Moody. Moody Max. Yes. Great to be here. The Great Greenwich here. Grinch. Thanks. Man. First time. Yes, and, <laughs> and just like a couple of our, you know, past guests, you 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 were on the preseason. You feel me? You you was here last year, and that's really almost like a whole twelve months ago. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what month that episode was in, but it was around like this spring. That was during the NBA playoffs. Uh, this nigga's memory is crazy. Yeah. No, 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 no. Bubble, 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 mm. bubble. How do you remember that? Because I remember afterwards we watched playoff game. Mm. So I wasn't here. So I, I oh wait, no, no, it was before that. It was like a little before that because you had come back to do the music video with Tomo, and I was here, and that was when nah. it happened. That, that was a different day. That was a different That's what I'm day. But it was, was like, but it was like a couple weeks later. Oh, though. I got you. So okay. I'm like, yeah, okay. it must have been around that same time. Okay. But yeah, all that to say, we're happy to have Max back over here. You know, he just dropped the project. Yeah, Facts. I'm gonna say yesterday, but it didn't drop. When you're watching this, it dropped it this uh, last Friday, and it's called "Written in the Stars." Make sure y'all check that out. Eleven tracks, twenty-seven minutes, something like that. Yeah, you know, a yeah. night. You know, take take thirty minutes of your time and really Facts. digest that right real quick. And if you got your candles with us and you vibing with us, light your candles up. Gotta bump the max. Gotta man. set the vibes. Gotta set the vibes. Shit, man. How how you feeling? The new project releasing. I feel good. I feel really good. Actually, I'm able to, I was able to get this out. I feel like I wanted, I always wanted to drop something with a larger amount of songs, bro. Mm. And I, I didn't like that I was forced to categorize it as an album. Um, Cause I don't really consider it like my first album. What would you call it? Um, it's a project. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, who forced you? Like, what, what do you mean by that? Because like, if I were to put tag EP at the end of it, then no matter what in the streaming services, it would just say like album and then it would say written in the stars EP. Like it just wouldn't look right. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's valid. If you're over six or seven songs, they automatically put it in the album category. The album mm -hmm. category. What was the decision to, because Moody Taste had six songs. Yeah. Six songs. So now you got 11. What was the decision to make it a little bit longer? Um, I was just, I just wanted to put out everything I made over throughout the year. Well, I made a lot more, but those are, I really like those songs. And you've been sitting on them for a while? Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of them were done pre-Moody tapes. Dang. Like, Without You was already done. So you've been holding mm -hmm. on to that. And then even then, you even mentioned that one of the songs you wrote on your birth, like during your birthday. Oh, and yeah. that was like December. Yeah, yeah, December 4th. And you know, a lot of people's favorite, the um, Janet Jackson one, What's that shit called? Uh, hand on my hand on my heart, hand on my chest. Oh, cross my heart. Cross, my, cross heart. my heart. That, that I don't was, even know why I'm. I was wondering what that sample was, but now you answered that. That's yeah, yeah. That one I made probably a week before, like release. Yeah, I probably oh, made it shoot. last sometime last week. Oh shit! Made that shit. He's like, nah, it's gotta go. It's gotta be on there. Yeah, because it was like kind of um, it was kind of like a Valentine's Day gift, mm. kind of, but late, but kind of at the same time. Towards my like girl, so I wanted to make that and give it to her, and then I was just like, I showed it to my brother. He's like, yeah, you gotta put that on. I was like, okay. 
<laughs> All right, so you got, you got the timelines the crossing. You got songs that were made before Moody Tapes, songs that were made afterwards. Yeah. How do you differentiate those two projects in your mind? Okay. So Moody Tapes was kind of like... Uh, I, for anybody who hasn't listened to Moody Tapes, I, I really implore you to... You know, take the time. Do it after this episode, of course. But take the time and actually listen to that shit, cause that shit's a vibe. I'm still listening to it. I got a lot. There's a lot of times I tell people like I I enjoy their music and I genuinely do. But in your case, bro, like I genuinely enjoy listening to the music. If it's Appreciate you know that. coming up on a like songs playlist and it just comes on, I'm not skipping it. And that that, that, that that's truthfully Appreciate how I feel. That. A lot of people is just like I gotta I gotta hear that in the right time or right you know I gotta be in the right moment, mood, and type of shit. But for you. It falls toward more than likely. I'm in that mood because mm. yeah. it sounds good. good. Yeah, <laughs> that's you. that's really what it comes down to. Tell me, to, bussing. To answer your question, the the moody tapes was more. I was trying to hone in on a specific sound. I wanted to say with more of the slower songs. Those two upbeat songs that I added were just vibes to me. With bus, bus up and bus up uh, and no romantic. No romantic. Yeah. I fuck with no romantic. Yeah. You capture the feeling on that one. But like, yeah, the slow songs, like, dilated and diluted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to, I wanted to attempt at saying something. And at the time, like, my, the, the time at which it took me to crank out music was so slow, bro. I'd spend, like, weeks and weeks on a song. And luckily, I've, you know, just by doing it more, I've gotten to the point where I can just do a song a day. So that's what, I, day. that's what I've been trying to do. But, um, back to... Uh, Win Us Over, which is a song I made on my birthday. Wasn't. Yeah, I like that song a lot. Yeah, that's See, my now, favorite song off there. I didn't make I didn't make that beat. I want to set something straight. I didn't make that beat. Produced ten tracks, not eleven. Oh, I was snap. wondering that because I was trying to look at the credits because I know yeah, there's a tag on there. Right? You produced a lot of your uh, your own music. Most most yeah, all of it except that song, which is kind of like a little the exception. Watch right. Yeah, but um, that song was produced by a dude named Z Vance. I fuck with him a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll probably work with him some more. Mm. But anyway, that song, I wrote it. I made it on my birthday. Literally during the party, I would leave and go to my room and layer vocals and then come back out. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> party party some more, drink some more. Because I wanted to be like, all right, I had the concept for the song. And I was just like, I want to be actually drunk when I'm recording this shit. Mm. Bro, you can concentrate like, in that space. Yeah, of course. Ah, no, it's more fun because like I was, it's a, it's like a song with a lot of emotion, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like whole time, I'm like grinning, like I'm having so much fun doing it. So like, yeah, got. Yeah. I, I really fuck with that creation. That was yeah. fun. That's that music right there. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's not like you got me like drunk mixing it and shit like that. You feel me? It's just like the actual like process of getting it done. You feel me? Unless you were drunk mixing mm -hmm. it, in which case, mm -hmm. very interesting. That's what I'm saying. I right? played it for the people there, bro. I was like, you guys gotta hear what On I made, day. bro. I feel you. Nah, that shit was dope. fun. That's, that's hard. Do you have any other stories like that, like during the creation of any of these songs? I don't know the story behind Hardly New. Well, we Hardly get to New. that, bro. Because mm. we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Because I feel like that has its own story. Because that's the one that stuck out to me the most. <laughs> we're going to get to that. Like, I guess Hardly New. <laughs> <shit. laughs> like, hey, I feel like we did. No story behind Hardly New. Mm. No story. Just wrote it, right? I just wrote it. Like, wait. What was the inspiration, I guess? Inspiration? Because... Can I, can I describe it? Or do you want to describe it, actually? You, uh, and you got to describe it. I got to describe, yeah, 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 yeah. describe it. So Hardly New is basically a song. I wanted to... All right, so what's always fascinating to me about stories, or well, some stories, is the ability to, like... Uh, I don't know, the unreliable narrator, basically. So, like, mm -hmm. in, in this song, that's not really the case. It's more so, like, I mean, you're not getting the full story from the person who's telling it to you. So, like, I wanted to... I basically, I made it very quickly. I made it in like 40 minutes and I was right. just punching in the entire time. So like basically, um, as soon as I said the line, like um, she just died, I hardly knew her. I was just like, oh shit, what if? And then I just wrote the rest in my head. Yeah, like, I was saying that earlier. I was like, because what I was saying is like, I wonder who that's about. And I was like, I don't know. It sounds like it's about a couple people. You feel me? Because it's just like, the narration of it sounds like scattered. You feel me? Mm. It's like you're saying, it's like unreliable narrators, like telling from this perspective. It's like, you're getting bits and pieces of like mad different Like, oh, her father. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm just like, yeah. I once, wait, yeah, really? Once I said yeah, that. Because like, the, the way I thought about it was like, all right, this is girl. You said she's popping pills like Rue. She's is, got this addiction. It is. It's a story about one specific person. However, like, 
Then you crafted a world around it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So like, once I said that line, I was like, this is, this is the way it's got to go. I guess you're popping pills like Rue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out Rue. I'm sorry. Bro. I thought it would be she beautiful because I thought of that line and then I immediately thought of the last line. One of the last lines, which is just like, um, she just died. I hardly knew. She just died. I hardly knew who it is exactly she would blossom to. So it's yeah. like, not that I didn't know her. It's that she, I didn't know her to her full potential, what she then. would have become. That's what I took from it. Like, her life was cut short. Exactly. Drunk driver crashes into her. And I, and I like that line too. I forgot how it goes, but it's like, you know, she died and he's still living. Mm -hmm. I got some cruel intentions. Mm -hmm. Like, or I, I mean, I might have butchered that, but that that part of that song, I really appreciate it. Or yeah. I fucked with it. Yeah. I, I liked it. it was, I thought it was um, beautiful. But I think it is something that I would change to, if I were to go back and do it. I think songs like those, um, it's it, it works better if it's longer. You need time for the person to like digest the story in the world or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I think um, it doesn't really work in like a minute and a half or however long the song is. I think so. I think I feel like I would argue for that reason it makes it better because then people are gonna find their own reasons to like fill up the fill up mm, the gaps in the story. You yeah. make it personal to them. I never even thought about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I might be in the same camp as you with it. I feel like when it comes down to like fleshing out like an entire story, even like world building, to me like a like. Shorter songs don't really do it justice because I mm. feel like you're kind of like limiting yourself, you know what I mean, in that way of being able to like say what you can say and like even like playing around with like instrumentation around stuff. It's mm -hmm. like there's so much you can do with more time. Exactly. You feel me? Um, but I definitely see what you're saying though. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like there's it. C4 method. You feel me? Different structure, different folks. You feel me? <laughs> in my head, I, I imagine if you did make Shout it longer, not necessarily that you would say more things, but like you can kind of like use Paint sound. Yeah. yeah, you sound like, imagine like the girl getting into her car, mm. mad sloppy and shit, yeah. then she's driving it, and then you hear the truck noises. Ah, I get it, I get it. You, 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 <laughs> you feel me? And then it goes back to the music. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can see that. You know what I mean? I don't know why I pictured the fucking nigga from... Um, the Bugs Bunny shit, nigga, the coyote, or whatever. <laughs> no, it's not yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that nah. clip going on the album, that clip you just did it right there. He was like, he was like, yo, we're gonna get the <laughs> and then back to the music, and then the music gonna drop right there, buzzing. That's and funny. as far as collaboration goes, you said you got you produce most of it, and that's an underrated thing in it in itself. Like as talented as you are on the artistry side, the production keeps up. You know Facts. what I mean? If Appreciate if that. not, also. Maybe even like, no, yeah, shots too. Of, like, you're one of the best producers out here, bro. Like, niggas are sweet. So? I don't understand. Yeah, nah. I know so, nigga. I no appreciate bullshit, that. Bro. I appreciate like, that. I don't, yeah, I don't want to bring up Kanye, but just like, you know, <laughs> that, no, 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 because he went through a situation where he was like boxed in as like, oh, I'm just the producer. Mm. Niggas ain't trying to see the artistry shit. Like, or whatever the case is, do you have those types of battles of like what you prioritize more or what you want people to see you as? Or is that just like a combo deal? No, because I think as long as I'm like singing or rapping over my own beats, it's not going to be an issue. Mm. But like, um, it was always like, I, I had a computer and I had FL Studio and I had like drum kits, but I did not have money. So Tell I you. couldn't pay for these beats. I could rap on like type beats, but then like, I was always afraid like, if the song is good and people do like it, then like, and the producer contacts me, like, how's that gonna go? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, that still is a concern with sampling, bro. Cause like, yeah. you know, nope. I didn't think oh, about that. Sample to the day I die. Nah, nigga. yeah. We, we talked about it on our <laughs> trip to New York. You, like, those samples will kill you. They, they'll come back, contact you, and now you have yeah. like 2% rights to your song. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that shit's that, wild. That shit could be scary potentially. Yeah. But, you know, I'm just, I think um, my mindset is, you know, I'll just continue to do me um, and crank out as much as I possibly possibly can, I so, feel like. That's real. When you're approaching, you know, the music and everything like that, do you hold back your own beats and say, I'm only making beats for myself, I'm not interested in giving my beats to other people? Or is it that you're open to Beat that? Method. I just know, I don't know anybody. Mm. <laughs> that type of shit, bro. I don't know anybody. Mm. So, like, Damn. if somebody... I, mean, I think this project going to change it. No fact, bullshit. right? I mean, hopefully. He's going to know hopefully. you. You feel me? Hopefully, hopefully. I'm always down to to work and collaborate with other artists. Always. It's just, um, you know, for for a long time, I just didn't have anyone to work with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, I just had to rely on my myself. Yourself, yeah. 
That's you know, my biggest thing. All right, what was you gonna say? Say I feel like what I see in a lot of artists that say stuff like that, where it's just like you know what I mean. It's not necessarily about like how you like how you get yourself out there, but more so just about like the different ways that you do so. You feel me? Like I think you know a lot of people from like personal interactions with them, but now that you have those personal interactions, it's like how do people? Essentially, like, how do people, like, introduce others to you? You feel me? How do they get those people, like, you know how to talk about getting people in the door? How do they bring the door to you? You feel mm. me? Because, like, especially with the talent level that you have, like, with everyone that's around you and everyone that you know, it's like, I feel like after this project, and I think maybe this is what Rob was alluding to as well, it's like, I feel like way more people want to work with you, way more people, like, know of you. You know what I mean? More so than you have to, like, know them. I mean, like the yeah. music is the music is quality and people are listening to it. People are sharing it. You feel me? We're talking about it right now. Hey, listen. I mean, yeah. you're on the podcast right now. Listen. That would be, I mean, that'd be good. Like these, these things I don't really even think about, but like, yeah, I mean. Yeah, it's easy to like, when you're just so focused on the music, it's like easy to forget, you know, there's a whole business side to it. And that was my biggest thing is cause like, I'm a big fan of your music and the music is great. The artistry is there, the talent's there. And now there's like this disconnect of like how you get as many people as possible to listen to. Cause if you feel like you don't know anyone, it might be true to that and like, you know, collaborating with more people or even being in the scene to just be more visible so that when you, cause you know, once someone puts your song on, it's a rap. You sold yourself already. You feel me? But it's them having to actually go listen to that. How do you think you can, well, you could do more to, you know, bring your name out there. That's absolutely my biggest struggle to date. It's just like, you know, you know, the business side of things or whatever, the marketing side. That's just always not fun. It's just, I don't know, bro. I'd rather that's just, not what we signed up for. Exactly. I just want to make the art, like, yeah. and have people, but no one's going to listen to it if you don't, like, put it in front of them. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, facts. Um, or that, like, at least they won't admit to listening to it. You feel me? Mm. That's just weird. Nah, because you're not, you're not like, like, bigger artists, bro. They be stealing shit from niggas, bro. No oh, bullshit. No, yeah. like, that, you're, like, sure. you're listening to shit on SoundCloud and then just, sure. like, take the sound and shit. Like, they're, be, they're not gonna be like, oh, I'm bumping in, this. <laughs> like, like, but you just made my song. Like, you know what I mean? Type shit. Yeah. Well, that would be crushing if that ever happens. It's, yeah. Industry is a sick place, bro. And as far as like collaboration goes, <laughs> like, yeah, like you said, you produce most of it. And then the only feature on there is Tomo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to our guy Tomo. He's got a performance, so he couldn't even show up today. But. You know, Shout out Mr. Singh. I fuck with that song too. That that's a fun song for me. Like even listening to the whole concept of it, like I had it written down. It was like uh like this SSD gonna buy you a BBL. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Like this hard yeah. drive gonna buy you a new butt. And like the whole concept around yeah. it is like, yo, just bet on me. You feel me? I'm, I'm gonna take yeah. care of us with this music shit. Yeah, that was a fun <laughs> song to make for sure. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm happy I got Tomo on there too. Uh that was fun. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I really like yeah, this Tomo's feature a, too because Tomo's when he was recording, nigga. I record I my studio whatever is in my room, mm-hmm. and we were just I invited him over and we were working on some other things, and then I was like, "Yo, you want to do this feature for my you know this is going on my EP or whatever," and he's like, "Yeah, sure." And then, bro, I really thought he was trolling me the whole time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yeah. he was just like, "Let it go, my own, your new Yeah, the voice he was is di- Bro, I was dying, bro. <laughs> Until I put the headphones back on and I listened to like, it, bro. Oh, shit, this nigga's on something. Bro, I was like, this nigga slid, bro. He didn't have to do that. <laughs> bro, that I don't like that shit. Yo, yo, I was about to, I was that about to say. That shit's ass, bro. That voice is ass, bro. I don't care what the fuck Tell nobody bro, said, bro. That bro, shit sucks, bro. bro. They, they like, say that to Nate Hearing that, that shit, to bro, bro, yesterday. Hearing that shit, it sound like, a, it sound, what did I say? It sound like fucking an alien <laughs> imitating Trippy Red, who's like also like has the flu. The verse is hard though. Like it sounds good and it works well with the song. But that voice, <laughs> that shit gave me like the heebie jeebies. I fucking <laughs> it. I can't even describe it. At the end of the day, I'm I'm happy with it, bro. And that's, and that's all that matters. Yeah, that's, that's all what matters. that's what Tomo said at the end. I fuck with it. Max fuck with it. Got the yeah. LA cosign. Yeah, the and the LA <laughs> cosign, exactly. <laughs> was, I fucked with it too. Miss, I man. think it did get to a point where like he was sounding a little too nasally. Mm. But other than that, like he like I, I fuck with the concept of the song. You the know? song is fire. You feel me? Like I feel like that's like just undeniable. So Certain, certain shit you can overlook you feel me yeah, <laughs> you got some favorites on here on this yeah, joint definitely cross my heart is probably my Production favorite on why do artists do that I do that too what? definitely my favorite song probably <laughs> <laughs> yeah I new, like that song new Mooney new Money Route I like new that Money Route yeah. yeah. did you hear the song 
Yeah. That sounds like, like he says I'm like, no, I'm thinking myself like, yeah, why, why did I say Mooney? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I feel like it's like the 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 English language, you know what I mean? You've been indoctrinated. No bullshit. And people see Money Long, they be saying Mooney Long. I'm like, her name definitely Money Long. But yeah, that song, uh, I don't even remember making that song, to be honest. Cross My Heart. Cross My Heart. Oh, yeah. Cross My Heart. Yeah, yeah. I love that song. Uh, that one, yeah, like I said, Valentine's Day gift, kind of, but it was late. Heard you. And uh, my friends, when I played it for them, bro, they were just like, they, they, I mean, they didn't grow up listening to Janet Jackson or whatever in their house, bro. Mm-hmm. So they had no idea what the sample was. So they're just like, yeah, it's good. But like that guitar over and over again, bro, I just don't know about it. Oh, it's Jesus. like, bro, you have no idea, bro. Then I showed my brother and he's just like, yeah, this is the one, bro. This is the one. You got to put that shit on there for sure. Mm. So and your brother's like kind of like the consultant, like you running. Yeah, I was about to ask that. Is it your friends? Is it your brother? Like who is, who, who I ask as do? many people as I can, bro. Gotcha. And at a certain point, um, I just stopped listening to him. That's a, that's what I was about to say because it's wow. like it's only so far you can ask everybody. Like even even last week, I uh, I made that realization when when my girl broke and I and I told her I was like, damn, bro, you I feel like you've been you're new, really bro. an average ass consumer, bro. Shoot. Like you've been new. I've been new, you've but been it's like new. I would, I would, I would tell his story. I would imagine. <laughs> I would imagine, bro, that like over time that she would grow to like appreciate a little bit more and be able to like. You know, give me the feedback that I need, bro. Mm. Not just like, but the thing is, I like this. The thing is, you already <laughs> know, you already know the answer. The fact that you said the feedback that I need, you already like know this. what you That's wanted what to saying. say. Exactly. So it's like you already know what you want to hear. Not that yeah. I need yeah, yeah. that. I, no, no, no. I might not even know I need it, though. Mm. You feel me? <laughs> but he's like, like, I know what I don't need, though. <laughs> like, yeah, I just, I just yeah, want a, a, yeah. something a little bit, you know, over, you know, deeper than the surface. I, I played the joint I had with Max. I really fuck with that song. It's like, yeah, this sounds like some SoundCloud stuff. And I was just like, that's a diss, bro. Like, that's a diss. Like, you saying that to me in 2022 you gotta ask what is she a means diss, by that. bro. Yeah, yeah, maybe she doesn't have enough words to, like, what do you express what she's that? trying to say about it. I don't think that's a diss. Because it might mean different things. I don't things. think it's no, a diss. No, I, I think, think it's a diss. diss because of this, right? If you told me this in 2016, 2017, you'd be like, yes! Cool. You feel me? But now that SoundCloud. sound has transcended just SoundCloud. SoundCloud is, to me, dead. No. To me, that's not. To sound, me, it's no, dead. No, 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 no. You're telling me this song belongs like, SoundCloud on SoundCloud. Back to this is home Absolutely. of the dead. SoundCloud went back to underground again. It's not underground. dead. Exactly. It's just underground again. I feel like SoundCloud slaps now. I was a big There's problem. a lot of niggas on there. I'm like, yo, who is this nigga? I'm like, fuck the SoundCloud. But I went back and I looked at like who I followed on there. And I was like, why do I follow these people? They still drop music on there. Shit's busting. Mm-hmm. And like, I also just, I feel like there's a lot of artists that I used to listen to on there who are like a lot bigger now who have like rediscovered and have gone back to listen to their older stuff and been like, yo, like this stuff valid. is so hard. This is what But what mean. does yeah. that mean? Like it could be on SoundCloud and Apple Music. Bro. To me, that sounds like it's original. That she's trying to say like, this sounds original. I've never heard anything like this before. Did you ask her? That's what it means to me when I hear say, that. Oh, right. <laughs> like, That's, That's what I'm saying. You got to ask her to like expand on that. I might have, I might have just, you know. <laughs> but nah, um, so you talking about Janet Jackson. Growing up, like what were shit that you was listening to your house like where's your family from um my mom i mean my family mostly i grew up around my mom's family primarily Mm -hmm. so down south most of them reside in north carolina or georgia um but they all grew up here they all grew up in they all grew up literally in dor in uh dorchester right fire um austin and they still have a my aunt still has the house there their original home oh dope um and uh that's where i was until for like most of my childhood. Mm-hmm. And they would just play, I don't know, they just play everything. I mean, ma- mainly, mainly just R&B and house. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, so those were the early influences? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. And, and from house, house, I got into like, when I was younger, before I even started listening to like, songs with lyrics in them, I would just listen to like, um, house and drum and bass. Like just the instrumentals. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's locked in. Yeah. Some real production minded ass niggas. <laughs> I feel you. Like I need all those lyrics. It's that, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But y'all all produce, so I understand. I wouldn't do that. Don't don't do that. Don't put me with them. Nah. I'm not listening to no damn drum and bass, bro. Drum and bass is fire, Shut but I'm not up. listening. I, I'm the same as you. I'm not listening to music without like vocals most of the time. Like Mike Dean, you listen to Mike Dean's albums? No. That's different though. Don't I mean, do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to now though. What the fuck? I need to. Good luck. It's a good it's luck. An hour of the same chord progression, just oh, different yeah. instruments. <laughs> All right. So what got you into the music shit? Like, when did you start actually making music, taking it seriously, 
and seeing a future for yourself in it. Okay. So my my brother for like a um earth science a sixth grade or eighth yeah sixth grade earth science project he had to he made a rap video that was, mm. that was his first time and then he really enjoyed it and he's like yo max if you start now by the time you're my age you're gonna get crazy so him and his friend um jabari really advice. his name is jabari shout out jabari they they started rapping together um for a, a while and uh i didn't take his advice <laughs> because no there's this one time bro that he pulled up an instrumental and he's just like yo Andrew which is my young my cousin older cousin but younger to my brother and me he's like yo you guys write a verse to this too bro and I wrote a verse and I thought this shit was hard and I performed mm. it and they're just like yo this shit is why bro name. don't you <laughs> looking like, back looking back what was it was it you remember was it? It, hard? it was probably terrible you, uh, you don't uh, remember okay, it okay. but Damn, um, they really discouraged you right there exactly and then one time like <laughs> how old are you I was you singing and they're just like, yeah, don't sing, bro. Don't know. sing. <laughs> what, was you, what were you singing? <laughs> I don't remember. Terrible advice. Yeah, that's then, how you know they really you got You remember him. the trauma. You don't remember yeah, the fucking... It, yeah, no max what I was singing. Like, that'd be a whole I, different I, artist. I got some moments like that. No cap. Yeah, but like, I just didn't think I could do it. I just how didn't long think did I could you feel that way? Um, I was never... It was never like an interest of mine. I didn't like want to do it until... Uh, I was bored. I I just got to UMass oh, Lowell. So bored, yeah. I was just got to UMass Lowell. I didn't know anybody, and I wasn't going out, so I wasn't getting to know anybody. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, you know, FL Studios been on my computer for a while. Let me just uh, see what this is about. Mm. And then I opened it up and I started the very, and I was just making some weird abstract stuff, and I was sampling like we all old video, <laughs> old video games that I used to play. I was like, yo, this soundtrack is crazy, bro. Let me just throw this in there and then just like put drums behind it. Yeah. And then like, um, I would just like flip like random songs or whatever, the best to the best I can. And then eventually I just, um, the end of freshman year, that year, um, I like didn't do well in a class or something. So I had to take a summer course and then they put me up in, uh, the brick building, Riverhawk, whatever. Riverhawk Village, yeah. That's where, like, the lofts were. Exactly. They put me in there yeah. early summer. Some nice-ass housing. Completely empty. Nobody else was there. I had that entire room to myself. The whole summer. For the entire summer. Mm. And I only had one class that I had to go to from, like, 9 to 12 or something. And this is the summer, so, like, basically the campus no one's is there. dead. Yeah. Dead. It's empty. So you got nothing to do but go to class, go to this one class, come back, and cook and up. And cook up. I would skate. I would skate on that uh 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 driver, whatever whatever it's called. Yeah. I would skate atop there and then I would go back and I would cook up for all summer. And then like by the end of the summer, I thought like I entered like a hyperbolic time chamber, bro. I thought I came out like the goat, but I just still wasn't that great. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot better than when, when I'm you started. Like now. And then yeah, and then I met Tomo. And then that was like really the and first And that was so your sophomore year. Because that was our freshman yeah, year. Yeah. And from there, like I wasn't a part of the moment, but I remember, and we brought it up last time he was here, but the whole, like, uh, cowboy, cowboy music video. And yeah, was, I remember and that, And how bro. classic that was to KOBK, and that was, you know, the first music video ever dropped from KOBK. He was in there? I recorded he, it. was it. his room. Oh. He, he recorded it, yeah. Oh, we should watch that. <laughs> that shit was wild. And I didn't even remember that until you guys brought it up last time. I remember, yeah, that shit was crazy. I feel like, I feel like what's it called? I feel like Tomo didn't remember it either. Cause I feel like at that time, right? I like, niggas have just been like finding random shit and like posting on like Twitter and like just like re like resurfacing old clips. Mm -hmm. And like that was one of the clips. And niggas was like, oh shit. Yeah, that's a throwback. That's like really not taking music seriously, but then that's that that's how we were making music. Having fun with it. Yeah, exactly. Still having fun with it today. But yeah, so from from me then Tomo, where did that go? Um, yeah, he was the first person I met, like, while making music, and I was just like, oh, shit, this nigga's, like, he's gonna make it, bro, because, like, mm -hmm. his work ethic is crazy. crazy, unmatched. I was just like, he he wants this shit more than anybody that I know, so, like, yeah. <laughs> this nigga I is go going somewhere. to, exactly, bro, so I was just like, yeah, so, I mean, I'm gonna make music with Tomo now, so we we made tracks, um, and then, like, I guess, it's like, gone. one of it's there. I just don't want to look for it. Oh. I don't even know what to type in. I don't know when I decided to like take it seriously per se. Like I just, I just kept working on it mm -hmm. mm. until people were telling me just like, "Yo, Max, like this is this is like I think this is good." I'm just like, "Oh, really?" But like, I never really believed them. Believed them. 
So when it is set in and like the confidence came that you're like, oh shit, I'm really like that. When like my, I always hate to, I hate to always bring up my brother, bro. But my brother would tell me just like, yo. What's bro, wrong bring up your brother, nigga? Yeah, like, shout out that one, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> True, 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 true. But like, I would he would send me verses, and I'd be like, and I'm I'm like critiquing. He's asking me for the feedback, critiques, yeah, feedback, yeah. and I'm sending him shit. And he's like, Yo, Max, this is crazy. Yeah. And I'm always trying to outwrap him and shit. But I, honestly, his what's your brother? I'm gonna shout. I'm gonna shout him out, Young Ains. Young Ains. You I don't feel? I don't know if he goes by Young Ains anymore, to be honest. But a I, his name is Ainsley, so A I N S. Young Ains. Young Ains. But um, who's the better out of the two? When it comes, his verses on his latest project, which is coming out next month, is cr- are crazy. So, I, I mean, I personally still think I can out rap anybody, but he um he's definitely coming with it uh this for this next project. Where why are we gonna have to look out for that? But the young Ains, um, well, if that's his name still, he's down. <laughs> you know, to do it regardless. He's down in uh, North Carolina right now. He got a family. Oh, no where he got a family. Got a family trying to balance the boat. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, when, when did, yeah, when did that click? When like, that what click? was this period? Like, pandemic or? Probably way before that. Way before this. I just wanted to. Did you end up staying in school? Like, at UMass Low? Nope. Got out of there? I, got, I had to. I had to. Was the, what was the decision? I mean, what was the thing behind the decision? Um, what, the, what I was going to school for, I just realized I didn't want to do it. And I also realized I didn't want to start over. Because, mm. like, any adjacent thing I also didn't want to do. What, are you doing engineering or something? Yeah. Chemical engineering. That was a lot of niggas. Like that first year engineering, you go and see, you feel me? Like, oh, I'm about to make some deep Dude, pocket bread. But where everyone left the first year and switched to something exactly. that they wanted to do, I stayed for three yeah. years, bro. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So I'm like really halfway. I'm like most halfway people, like, in. That first semester, they got to take chemistry, calculus, physics, and you're just like, fuck all that. A bunch of them, a bunch of those engineering students just became business students. Yep. So I'd be seeing them That's in my the classes. That's the route I should have took. No bullshit, but. But no, I mean, your route is your route. You feel your me? Your route is your route. And then from there, once, once you know, dropped out of school, did that make you, you know, take music a lot more seriously? Absolutely, yeah. Um, that that may have been what did it, but I still always, um, music to me never, I don't know, I don't look at it too seriously still. Like, mm. I just, I l- just love doing it. It's like, it's my hobby. It's more than a hobby. I want it to be more it's than a, a hobby, but it's a passion, yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, I'm never going to stop. Um, and just the affirmation, I guess, that I get from the people around me makes me really believe that I can actually, I can do this. Like people, you know, my brother and my sister, they tell me, you know, that I can do this. And yeah, I mean, even listening to this, bro, like, you know, it's dope that telling you, you, right you now. Found, like you have your passion and everything, but now it's on you to just execute. You know what I mean? The music is there. It's got to so, execute. You know, like you don't want to you don't want to think at the end of this, like, yeah, damn, I wish I went a little harder or I, I wish I did this yeah. or that. You know, this yeah, time bro. now to do that shit. If of all I, I don't want music to ever be a regret, like I could have done better or done harder or went harder. Mm-hmm. So I always have to give it my all no matter what. That's true. I think it's interesting, like for you as an artist, because like you don't really like collaborate that often with like other artists, at least like as far as like release music goes. But like all the collaborations feel very substantial. You know what I mean? Like you have Tomo on this, this is hard. Um, you had the feature on uh, Ricky's project, right? Mm-hmm. With um, that was huge was for there? me. On uh, with that was Meech. Meech was on there. Yeah. yeah. So it's like I feel like you're doing a really good job as far as just like getting yourself out there and getting like making sure that like whenever people do hear you and it's not on your own stuff, it it's clicks. Valid, yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, that's great. I mean, shout out Meech too for hitting me up way, way, way back. I think even before Moody Tapes dropped. He hit me up and he wanted me to, to um, like record a, a hook for him or something. Bro. Mm-hmm. Appreciate him and now and uh, now it's uh, yeah, bro, crazy. True. And now what? What are you saying? Um, Luke Bars, bro. That's that's the one right there. He is you, or you want to work with him? Yeah, we, bro. He's Let's do it. It sounds like all, they work. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's he's great. yeah, he's great, bro. He's always yeah, bro. It's fun. Not so I'm very blessed to um to to know these these people. So I do want to I do to go back to on what I said before. I do want to work with more people, and I hope this year I'm able to get more things out. You know, actually I I mean I already have more things with a lot of people, 
So those are starting to come out soon. And I do want to release music in a more uh, rapid pace. Mm, that will play a yeah. um, fire. So, yeah. But, say that. So, yeah, just like with this album, or you don't want to call it an album, this project, what's the biggest thing you just want people to take away from it, first and foremost? This project is my... It's the reason I began making music in the first place. It's all inside of it is all my inspirations, like everything that brought me to this, everything that brought me here, all these sounds, everything you hear in there is, is just like, I just want to say like, it, I, I feel like it's like my beginning in a way. Mm. So that's why I don't want to consider it an album because to, to be honest, to be completely honest, it's, it jumps from one thing to the other. One sounds like mm -hmm. two, kind of, but it doesn't sound like three, which doesn't sound like four, which doesn't sound like five. And it just goes all the way down. They're all different. And um, and I think the idea of an album, at least these days, is something that's more like concise. Cohesive. Cohesive. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I do want to push back on that Maybe. a little bit, but at the same time, um, I, I do want my album, my ideal album is something that tells kind of, is something more tight thematically. Okay. Yeah. All right, but... I know you mentioned that, um, like you talked about a little bit as far as like this project in particular, like that idea of influence. You feel me? It's like, I want to know for you, like, what are your influences? Like, who are your influences when it comes down to like making music? You know what I mean? Hmm. Because you were talking about those inspirations that helped create this project. Yeah. I think as a consumer, we might listen, we might hear some stuff, but I want to hear from you. Like, what are your influences? I'd say... Less so, less so people and more so uh, like genres. Mm -mm. So some, some sounds I, I do really like a lot, like more recent. Um, what's, I think, influenced a lot of this project um, was the plug and B sound. It's um, somewhat new. But it's really on the rise. It's more underground. But oh, see, so someone like summer is autumn. Shit exactly. Like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the way that they use um, those uh, synths, yeah. and they like uh, shout out Mexico drill slide man. together. And like all you that said, shit. it's like on some R and B shit too, though. Yeah. Exactly. Like, you know, some mix of that. So like, I just I wanted to do that, but I I obviously like I've been producing for a while, so I, I'm able to put my own spin on it, mm -hmm. and I'm able to create something that I consider my own. And that's that was the influence for probably the majority of the songs, and then of course drill. Um, I yeah. I love it. I love more UK drill. You gonna um, ask him? I do wanna ask you. <laughs> What's up? Is drill? What is, what is the question? I don't wanna butcher it. Basically, last uh, is drill last music episode, one of the best things to happen to hip hop. Someone said that. Someone someone that's, we know. Is it the best said, thing? Said. It's one of the best things that's said. happened in hip hop of recent. What do you think of that? No, ever. It's one of the best things to ever happen. No, no, yeah. Uh, I think he corrected it and I said it like of recent, like it's the oh, best okay. thing that's happened. I disagree. <laughs> Strongly disagree. Strong. Why is that? Even as someone that's who just a, a wild Drew. statement. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> as someone that fucks with like yeah, hey, that's, just a, that's just a wild statement. <laughs> but I think um, my appreciation for the genre comes more from the UK side of things. Mm -hmm. I. Um, I love grime music. I think it doesn't get the limelight that it deserves. And I know drill is not grime, but um fuck with the grime. I fuck with the grime and the in the drill, the UK drill is is basically it, it's elements of that that was able to be brought over here, yeah. even though it was shifting into something else with the New York shit, which is cool as well. But um Wait, with the with the grime, like I noticed that uh that sound on lazy. Like, yeah, you got you got the. How did that reach you? You feel me? This UK grind, like, how did that reach you? Where, how did you connect to that? You know, that music. So I mean, SoundCloud was the first time I heard of Skepta, and then he came out with Konichiwa Fact, at right? some Konnichiwa point. Konichiwa is a hard project. I fuck with that project. He came oh. out with Konichiwa at some point, and then um, in school I did an essay on the origins of grime, and then I I was really like, what class some, is this nigga? <laughs> it was like creative writing too, or some oh, shit. Okay. But then like I was um. I just did a deep dive in the history of grime, bro. I researched everything about it. And at first, um, when I was researching it, it was funny because I would listen to like um, 
what they i mean like a clash which is like basically a rap battle mm -hmm. and then like i'd listen to some of their music bro and i was like these beats suck ass bro these beats are <laughs> terrible and then like by the time i'm done researching i've written the paper bro i'm just like this shit is legendary bro these mm -hmm. beats are amazing these people are fucking amazing bro and nobody so and, it, and it doesn't get the appreciation that it deserves and now I, yeah i want to say again uh grime is not drill drill is not grime however um you know part of that part of them has been able to bleed over here in a way that that hasn't happened before so i wanted to show appreciation to that and when i when i rap on drill beats i you tend to use the flows that i use like the cadences, the cadences. Or it's just like the lingo, lingo too. Lingo yeah. too. Yeah. Lingo. Cause I was gonna ask, I, like, I be hearing it. I'm like, this nigga not British. It's, so nah, it's but, the youth. But, it's but that's the dope shit. that he he like he took the moment to be like, yo, I appreciate this genre. You know what I Hell mean? Hell yeah. Because Full circle moment, right? So we had Vasion. That's how you pronounce it, right? Vasion. Vasion. And you were saying how? Yeah. You were saying how? You know, if you want to get into something, you need to research it, and you need to do you know your due diligence of understanding what it is that you're getting into. Yeah. Do you feel like everyone has that responsibility to do what you did in terms of like really yeah, learning about the culture? Really learning about the culture. What it is. You so know, that you're not disrespecting no, the culture. If they hear me and they like what I do mm -hmm. and they say like he's not flowing like these guys, he's flowing more like these guys and I want to do that, that's enough for me, bro. Mm -hmm. Like if if more of their culture is able to 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 seep through and be appreciated yeah. so that mm -hmm. yeah. one day someone can like turn on Central C and nobody around you be like, you know, I really can't listen to British rap because they're acting. I just can't take it seriously, bro. That shit, honestly, it makes me, it doesn't piss me off. I don't get mad, but it's just, it's just kind of annoying. Like, yeah. I don't understand. It's, I, it doesn't get the appreciation that I think it deserves. Accent kind of hard. I exactly, like, oh, bro. Oh, I think oh, that no. shit, yeah. I think their accent's hard as fuck, bro. It's raw. And that's how you want to take it. Like, that's how you want the people it's who to consume received. your music like, to, our to receive it as well. That accent, so it's like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because we talked a lot about like the differences between, you know, cultural appropriation and an appreciation. Mm. You know, there's a difference between like, oh, this is hot. I'm going to take this for myself, for my own benefit, compared to, you know, the difference of actually like, yo, I genuinely want more people to hear shit like this. Mm. You know what I mean? So if someone was to ask you about that, that's when you were, you know, having these songs that you spit in the lingo, the cadences and everything. That's how you want people to receive that. I mean, I mean, they can receive it however they want to receive it, bro. If they say I'm cultural <laughs> appropriating, I mean, I don't, I don't really care. But like, <laughs> I don't even think that's appropriation though, because at the end of the day, with this in particular, it's like you're showing like you appreciate it, and also, it's kind of busting. I don't know. I feel like it's busting. Like you know, what I mean, it's not like you're making a mockery of what they're doing. You mm, feel me? You're yeah. honoring it and you're incorporating your own style. It's booming. It's busting. That's but my biggest thing. Like, what I, I don't say? give a fuck what like the influences are because I hear the info. Like you know, there are songs like on Moody Taste. Like, like oh, that gave me like a party vibe. Mm. But you know why I never have an issue? Because it's not party. Niggas like, don't drop enough music for even oh, me. Yeah, like first of all, saying different things. I don't even hear enough music from that nigga. Like if you're doing it right, you're doing it well, you're doing it your own way, bro. I Facts. fuck with it. As long as that shit is good, Facts. I don't give a fuck. If it was ass and it was like, why would I listen to this nigga when I could listen to the next nigga? So exactly. But my thing is that as long as I feel like there's a difference between like, you know what I mean? Having inspiration and biting. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I could always tell like inspiration, but I never feel like you're just copying someone else's thing. You feel me? Because like, yeah. it's like we were saying it earlier it's like chameleon stuff you feel me where it's like you're just adapting you know what i mean yeah. you're taking it and then it's adapting into your style it's like a like a fucking voltron you know what i mean this is like getting like more and more powerful type shit as opposed to like niggas just being like nah i just want to be a black voltron too or like a red volt whatever you know what i mean just mm -hmm. whatever lost me i no, i know what he's saying <laughs> and, to, and to be like completely honest 100 percent honest bro the er earlier when i was making music I would hear a lot like, oh, you sound like Drake. This is a, this is like, you sound like Drake. First of all, Drake, 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 Drake sounds like mad fucking niggas. It's really not even fair, bro. I mean, mm, it's a fact. bro, you could do some UK shit. You sound like Drake. You could do some Afrobeat shit. You oh, sound you're like talking about like, Yeah, no, that's yeah, weird. Niggas were saying that shit. That's oh, Drake. Really? That's I, crazy. We were yeah, actually said that. He was like, what the fuck? Like, so <laughs> like, you make Afrobeat sound like niggas. Like, y'all niggas is bugging. You sound like Drake. Like, nigga, that nigga Drake sound like that Afrobeat niggas. No, but as you saying, yeah, I think. um I'm not like completely blind to that. I feel like over time, 
What is it? I don't, I don't know. know. That shit hard. <laughs> but anyway, so, over time, I've been able to. I think that was naturally where like my cadences and my voice was going. Mm-hmm. But over time, I'm able to make. It's just more. It's just more me, I mm-hmm. guess. Type shit. So are you more? Because I I, I credit your versatility. The way that you're able to, you know, slide in all these different pockets and all these different genres. Mm. Are you more concerned about, you know, just trying to be versatile, make as much music, like make the just the music you want to make? Or do you think there ever needs to be a time where it's like you got to develop and hone in on your own sound? Are you I'm not still, big on that? Uh, I'm still 50-50 on that. Mm-hmm. Um, I was having a conversation with one of my friends yesterday. I was like, I think I'm going to continue making music the way I want, like the music, the way I do and release it in the way that I, I am. Um, because like, for example, we take like, um, I don't know, a Nas album, whatever. Yeah. You take the biggest Nas fan. Is he going to love every single track on that album? No. I feel like he's going to, when it comes to like streaming or whatever, he's going to listen to, you know. Same four to five. Four to five. So if your biggest fan isn't going to listen to all of your music and you make it kind of like the same way every time, every time, then it shouldn't hurt me to make the music I want to make, which can be this or this or this or this. Mm -hmm. And I can have people be like, you know, I don't really like Maxwell's singing or rapping. I like when he does a drum and bass track. Just a little bit of everything. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, I haven't really seen anybody do it, maybe because it's not a viable way to do it or maybe because nobody's done it, but we'll see. I mean, I will say someone has done it and and I know like you might not appreciate the uh, comparison, but the person that's being compared is a legend. Mm. Drake does that. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? True, There's true aspects of people who be like, I only fuck with when Drake just rapping or I only fuck with his R&B shit if or I only fuck that, with that's his so funny. radio hits. You know what I mean? There's, I only fuck with Drake when he raps. <laughs> <laughs> He's hard, no, 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 no. I love no, no. no. Shit. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Nah, I don't do that. For the most part, I appreciate most of the shit he drops. You feel me? But that that's someone who's like similar in that sense that they have you could really split their discography. That's true, that's like, very true. In forts, you know what I mean? And you might be on that same path of just like, we're gonna have a rap in Max where he's doing his Reaper Free it's the Reaper Freestyle, right? Mm-hmm. You're gonna have that. Or you might have some shit where got niggas dancing on what's up or no romantic or oh this nigga got me on my feelings like I yo dilated uh, dilated and diluted I'm I'm in my feelings now I'm in the whip I'm driving and it's it's nighttime and shit you know what I mean mm. you're gonna get all those different feelings so if anything I think maybe it's a trap it's I'm not gonna say it's a trap say it's important to have your own sound to like differentiate yourself but all but that becomes a double edged <laughs> sword when that's all people I know think. you for. You know mm. what I mean? Because you'll have a sound, and then once that wave is gone, yeah. you're left. You mm. know what I mean? So you kind of have to right. always be able to adapt. I feel like it depends on what you want out of this shit. If that's, you want to be the a, biggest superstar in the world, you have to constantly reinvent yourself. You mm-hmm. feel me? You have to constantly, you know, provide people different sounds, different sonics, all that shit. If you're just trying to, you know, live a good life and say, yo... I'm doing what I want to do and, you know, you develop a cult following and all that. All mm-hmm. they expect from you is that one thing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I don't go to Freddie Gibbs and expect him to sound like Drake. He's going to sound or like Freddie Gibbs. Do some you feel me? Dirk shit, you I don't know expect I mean? currency to sound like anyone else. I expect him to sound like him and deliver that same thing, same thing every time. Mm-hmm. And that's just a cult following that he's built now. You feel me? Versus Drake was like, yo, I don't know what he's about to drop next week. It's yeah. going to be hot though mm-hmm. and we're going to be surprised by it. Yeah. You feel me? So it really depends on what you want, I think. And there's pros and cons in each of those things. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, sure exactly, Freddie likes exactly. where he's at, but then there's going to be people, I don't fuck with him because he only does one he thing. He does that, but like, you know hey, what I mean? But he does that is. one thing well, so well. Mm-hmm. And then the Drake is kind of like a master of all trades type of thing. But but then you got people who be like, oh, Drake's not the best rapper though because he does all this other shit. He's soft or whatever. Yeah. Whatever the case is, you know what I mean? Yeah, so man, those are pros and cons that come man. with both. So people at the end of the day, you got to do what makes you happy. You know? Always, yeah. It's hot as hell in here. Kind of. Very. I, I, I hope he went, went outside Very. just to just to take that shit off, bro. Turn that I was off. Just like, Yo. I- <laughs> so you're already on to the next one. Oh yeah. On to the next one. I got one. um the- I made a I already have an EP, like an a one that's ready to go out after. Mm-hmm. Um we'll see how soon though. And then um the dude's son, formerly Su- uh Seuss. Arg Zeus. No, not, oh, not so, Zeus. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking Seuss. about. The white dude. Yeah, he's, he's, in, he's in California right now. 
Um, oh, media. the person oh, who produced. Yeah, the white boy. That song. Yeah. What song? I was going to say the white man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know who you're, who you're referring to. Seuss. Um, he's an artist from yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Everett, I think. Um, but, I forget what he's from. Um, yeah, so uh, we have like a six or seven uh, song tape that's coming uh, very soon. Oh, word. I, I definitely want to hear more collaborations from you because, you know, like you mentioned, chameleon in the way, like, I feel like you can adapt to anybody you're on a song with. Mm. So I definitely want to hear more of those collaborations, man. Hearing you working with other people in, in the city and shit and just like getting it to as many people because I, I genuinely want to see you blow up, bro. Because I know Thank that's you. the music that can blow up. You know, I really see the potential in that shit. But hey, man, y'all y'all want to open it up? Y'all want to open up to some topics? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Where you want to start? Where y'all want to start? I want to start with the streaming wars, man. The streaming, streaming wars. Because Bel is busting. Peacock's up right oh, now. I'm all thinking music now. Oh, yeah. Yo, you, now, that's yeah, nah, that's nah, the nah. next streaming <laughs> war. <laughs> this is the new streaming war right here. Because you're fucking with Bel Air. I'm fucking, I'm with, fucking Bel-Air. with Bel Air. You haven't watched it. I haven't watched you it. Haven't watched either, no, how many watched episodes it? out is five. so far? Four. Already? Five. 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 five, five. And for that show, is it is it, you know, normal drama, 40 minutes, 43 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Tight. Yeah. Okay. Might be but, a little longer than that. I, I was saying, no commercial, so it doesn't go to the full like the episodes hour. would be like 50. Nah, if you got the cheap Peacock like plan, you're going to see commercials. commercials. There's that. commercials on the $5 joint? Brokey, yes. I did not know that. <laughs> that is not bussing. Peacock's not up, I lied. Because I have the $10 one. I didn't know that there were ads in the $5 one. I That's thought it was crazy. just like you just don't have the, uh, access to the same content. But I guess that makes sense. I hate when streaming services do that. Like, isn't that the point we got rid of fucking cable? Yeah, because like Hulu does that too. I don't like that. Like, I, I have Hulu ad free, but it's like, just knowing I have to say that. I'm like, I don't like that. Ad free. <laughs> it should just be like, ad free, no ads. But it's not the end of the world, especially if you're only going to that app for like one or two shows. You're not staying on that app. I'll be on Peacock. If you're so going if you're to the it, app for one or two shows, my thing is you might as well just like pirate the shit. Oh, that's what I do. Mm-hmm. Facts. I'm on Movie Box. You just got it. The quality, pay, the quality is that, good though. Huh? The quality for TV shows, yeah. for streaming, for they're TV just ripping shows, it from yeah, streaming, yeah, bro. It's like same quality. Only thing, mm. 1080p. Yeah, the only thing they can't do is like when the new movies come out, you're gonna have that dude who's like recording that shit in the movie theater. Well, well otherwise, if it's online, then, bro, unless it drops yeah, on the streaming During platform, coronavirus, exactly. bro, movies would drop same time on like streaming services. Yeah, still COVID. You could watch it the same. True, true. You're yeah, right. keep, Sorry, keep, my bad, my bad. What? <laughs> during <laughs> still COVID. Bubble era NBA. Facts, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> during the HBO Max Golden Era. <laughs> <laughs> Movies would drop same time, bro. So you could watch um uh, uh high Family quality, releases, yeah, yeah, same day. Yeah, when Soul dropped, that was the first time I was like, Soul oh was shit, fight. That was that a. Was I'm not going to the movies, bro. This is busting around. I'm watching that shit at home. Movie. I watched that show with my nephew. So I watched was that really shit with my good. People. But now it's got into the point. It's like, yo, the reason we stopped end. watching cable. You got came back to life. Yeah, you did. You did. He came okay, back. Yeah. He came <laughs> back. Found his. You know what I mean? Wait, how did you appreciate the white savior shit in it? You were saying savior. there's some white savior things going on. You mean on. the spirits? Is she yeah, white? I was about to say they're not white. <laughs> is she white? So she don't got no color. They're not people. She's <laughs> still like, yeah, it's not even a human. People saying you know, <laughs> voice by a white woman, Tina Fey. No, that's not. It's I don't think that kind of I think it's a reach. I, I I agree it's a reach. I agree it's a reach. You know? But I'm fucking with, like, speaking of, right? Like, I think that was on Disney Plus. That released on Disney Plus. That was hard. You know what I mean? I feel like HBO Max is booming right now. Booming. Because did you watch Peacemaker? No, I haven't yet, but I have I to get to it. I watched the first episode. It's just, it didn't seem that crazy. Peacemaker is busting. Yeah. I, I got renewed for a season two. Um, yo, that's just about to be fire. So mad streaming services doing their thing. Like, you know, Hulu going to have Snowfall on that joint the day after. And then you it's got... Just, it's well, yeah, really it is a day after. Really FX. Amazon Prime got... Yeah. Yo, FX M- has crazy shows, and that's why I fuck with Hulu, bro. Facts. Atlanta, Dave. Yeah. All them joints. Dave, I said Dave, but don't put there's a show right next to each other. That was so disrespectful. Yeah, you can't bro. do that. But I, Dave is a good show. Yeah, Dave is Dave's it's smooth. All right, Dave is smooth. It's decent. It's decent. It's all right, show. decent. And it's all cool. Right. Like, it's all right. Put it on like, when like I, you know, you I, I put it on when it's like it's Atlanta, the end of my bro. day. I have nothing else to do, so let me just put this shit on. Once was, you watch season cool two of Atlanta, show. bro, you be like, yeah, Dave is all right. It was it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, he didn't watch the season two. Yeah, you gotta get on that. Isn't Atlanta mostly? It's like it's like dramedy, but more drama than comedy, right? I think it's a part of it. Yo, the thing is, the thing about season two is like I feel like it's season one, balance. other than like that news episode, it's like a linear, you know, story. Season two is like it's a new adventure in each one. You got Alligator Man. Mm. You got yeah, uh, it's Alligator all, Man. Alligator Man, Florida Man. 
It was it's an alligator man. Oh, oh, okay. And Star Wars okay. he told us the story for that episode where Zazie beats go to le- goes to like that German thing. Is that season yeah, one? That's season two. That's in season two. How did I watch that? I don't know, bro. You might have caught it or maybe live TV. You just don't remember it, but that's facts, yeah. Because that episode was that episode. Was My like, thing is, if I say funny. Teddy Perkins to you and that don't ring bells, nah. then you or like watch the barbershop, yeah. I'm like yeah, yeah. baby, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> that's really how it be. I'm sorry. That's... All right. Yeah, so Hulu's about to be up. Hulu's about to be up. Snowfall and Atlanta. and Atlanta back. Netflix is the only one really losing, bro. Yeah, Netflix is I knew Netflix ass. was losing when I like went to the app and I seen games on their shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's $20 games? a month. That's crazy. Games, like mobile games on Netflix. I, I think I'm going to cancel my Netflix today, bro. What, you pay for Netflix? Yeah. $20, I'm, you pay the, $20 bro, a month? I'm the guy. Like people. Oh, you're the plug oh, the for guy. everybody bro, else. It's uh, fucked up, bro. Yeah, they're not even cash app in your niggas. Niggas I, mean, I haven't bro, talked to in three years. Yo, what's that password, Netflix? Yo, what's the new shit, password, bro? Exactly. Bro. Nah, wait, yeah. Netflix is I feel like Netflix really and then wasn't Netflix the ones over the summer they were like, Yeah, we're trying to like, you know what I mean, crack down on people that are like sharing their passwords and shit like that. Whereas like now it's like depending on the device, they're like tracking the devices, trying to make sure that people can't just like do like they can't if you're logging in for multiple. That's so lame. They need bro. to That's stop ass. doing that shit because so they're lame. gonna ruin their app, bro. I remember watching Stars, bro. I got an account. I sign in on my phone. I sign in on my TV. I sign in on my iPad. I'm the same user, bro. Yeah. But then the moment it be like too many streaming services, close all of that shit. That's close crazy. all of it and it's still popping up. Type like shit. yeah, it's just Slim the does worst the same thing. Design app. Yeah, Slim ever. does the exact same thing and it'd be so chips. I'm like, bro, I'm watching on my Xbox right now. I turned it off on my phone and I was like, yo, it's still open on your phone. And I'm like, no, it's not. How you fucking no, gonna tell not. me? Yeah, no, it's, so it's, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like 10 minutes delayed. I'm like, now nah, I'm missing fucking whatever I'm watching, bro. I left stars, like hmm. I paid for it, left it, and then I had to go I I watch this shit on a, a torrent, bro. Just to watch it. It's just like for me, it's guys. like shit that you're paying for. You should not have it. That's bullshit. Keep it out, Hulu, leave it at that. Bro, See, nah, bro. Disney Plus is busted, If you had to have bro. one, you like you Star Wars? One. I do have a Disney Plus login. Star Wars is all right. I fuck with Star Wars so heavy, bro. I can't let go of the Disney Plus, bro. There's so much Star Wars content, bro. Coming out fucking, soon. Fucking you're Boba right. Fett, bro. You're right. You're the right. new Mandalorian season, bro. You're fucking the Ahsoka series. Obi-Wan. Fucking Obi Wan series. Oh, I just want a boss, bro. What? Yeah, maybe we'll see. I yeah, fuck nah, with the Marvel shit, you. but then I also like you know searching. I like searching like the live action. Yo, that movie. Look like at the Irish or whatever yeah, the fucking yeah, shows yeah, yeah. are. It's a good movie, but I never no, watched that I'm not, I'm not saying that specific uh, movie. I, like, I, that li- movie I literally type in all those shows, the Minuteman, whatever, the movie, whatever. Just to see and it's just like, it. oh, it's He's like, it's there. there. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm never going to watch it. Leaves. Oh, leaves man. That, puts That's it on his watch thing, list. Bro, and yeah. like, I'm never going to get to yeah, it. Yeah, now this shit getting ridiculous, though. Like My watch list for watching. We stopped buying cable, bro, so we didn't have to spend $60, $70 on these packages. And now we're doing the same thing, basically, bro. Everybody's charging a subscription. Pay subscription for I know how to maneuver it though You feel me Cause they got bundle deals Like the Hulu ESPN plus And the Disney Come plus on, bundle bro, I paid $12 yeah. That's not a bundle but listen, been with it But I paid $12 a month for that When it's supposed to cost Like if you buy each of them Individually it costs mad bread And even Hulu ad free How much you pay for Hulu Oh I don't remember Yeah I, I paid 12 That's just like 10 bills Is it Yeah bro but I get that and Disney Plus and ESPN for, It's $12 Yo I paid $12 You're fucking A year That's a good deal Yeah For yeah, movie yeah, box yeah. What's movie box, bro? Movie box is the. It's like it's not one of those janky ass like streaming service where you gotta like click out all these ads and shit or like sketchy shit. It's really paid pirating. Paid pirate. Like that's that's a, that's yeah, I know what you're I feel I like it's really its pirate. own like you know. <laughs> It's like it's almost. Let me see the like UI Hulu. on this shit, bro. I'm telling you, it's, it's, no, it's good. It's good. It's, it's, it's a good. really it's good, good, good UI. Good. Let me log in real quick. You can quick. put it on your TV. I could cast it. Yeah, you could cast it like um. Apple TV or like Chromecast, whatever. Hey man, I'm helping with that. They got everything on there. Bro, I remember when that technology first came out. I was like, yo, this is the future. Anybody got Amazon, bro? Yes, sir. I don't, yeah, I, do. I pay for that yearly My mom because I don't. Know. I don't count that as like me paying for a streaming service. I it's pay for like Amazon Prime. Prime. Prime, yeah, yeah. Mm. But I have it though. It's busting. That Lord it's of the Rings series. That shit's about to hit. I don't think that's gonna be that great though. What? Yeah, yeah. they got black elves and shit. That's not wavy. Uh, no, why? They're not supposed to have black elves. What for real? Yeah, nah, the elves weren't black. Can we talk about the real streaming wars that happened last week or this past week? What, Kanye, Kanye versus, versus his sound else? engineers. Oh, oh shit. Sound engineer. Kanye versus his sound engineer. That's a real streaming war right versus there. Versus his fans. Bro, the way he threw that mic was crazy, bro. Yeah, he was first off, first off. He was pissed. Yo, we got to describe this. All right. Yo, Kanye had a listening in an event fuck for Kanye, his new bro. album, what the fuck, Donda bro. 2. And like we mentioned last episode, he's trying to have, you know, people buy the stem player, you know, this $200 stem player. That shit's a, that shit's a scam. Don't buy it. 
because you said that there's a whole there's app that does so it. many. There's there's an app Moises that does it really well, but there's mad other like you're software too loud, that does bro. it. You're too loud, bro. You want niggas? Yeah, waste your two hundred. <laughs> the stem player is busting. Stem, the stem player is busting. Buy that. Stem player is busting. Yeah, so right in your hand is busting. He had it's this like event a phone or something. And yo, believe. <laughs> Nigga, Nate pulled up to the movie Fuck theaters to watch this. No way, did he you? He pulled up to the... So think about it. You, you watch the live stream on YouTube, yeah, right? Yeah, it's probably late. Nigga that's how, gonna buy that how, long, how long did you wait to, to be on that live stream? Nigga, I was on Twitch, so I was just like doing some other shit until I actually heard but news. How, it, it was a couple hours, right? Huh? It, was it was two like, hours. Two hours. You waited was two sitting. additional hours? <laughs> it was supposed to start at nine. Were I pulled people up leaving? Did people leave? Some people left, but the theater was packed, though. It was like 150, 170 people in Oh, y'all stayed the whole time. What did y'all do, bro? Well, I took a nap. No, um, yo, man. nigga was listening to a fucking heartbeat for two hours. That's was the sound crazy though. I would assume like the sound system was a force. No, yeah, it not. was the IMAX theater. Yeah, it nah. was busting. That, like it, it sounded great. Mm. It just took two hours to start, and then the performances were chips. Like it was yeah. just like a bunch There's of random shit. And then the sound was fucking up. Yeah, it sound. Whoever was doing that, like the playback engineer, or whatever. I heard it's uh, sorry, bro. I don't know. In the credits, it's like the, tired. In the credits, he's named as the sound designer. I think I'm, I'm a, it, was, it wasn't the sound designer's fault, though. It was whoever the sound, playback bro. engineer was. Because that oh, was really God. the issue. It was like things were playing out of sync. That yeah. was really the problem. That so they're killing weird. the wrong How guy. How did that happen? Bro? Yeah. They're killing uh, Dion Filey or Friley or some shit. Like, all I know is they was ripping that nigga that day, bro. His mentions. It's fucked up. Tarnished, bro. <laughs> tarnished. Fucked up. Did you, you watch it? I did watch it. So, you know, like, once it got, like, I think after. Once, yeah, after once the he new switched shit. to the Don, yeah, after music. Jack Harlow came uh, out. I told you, you just wanted to How does album. that happen? Though? You're right. Whoever was doing the playback sync, they probably just started at different times. Uh, we need to give these people some clarity. Or just, just, it doesn't, and you it can't, can't just. I'll just be like, yo, pause it. It's Kanye. Kanye. Play this shit off they Apple Music, bro. Yeah, facts. Nigga, he ain't fuck with well. Like I said, bro, Apple probably sabotaged that whole event because he's like, I'm not, fu- I'm not letting y'all fund it, so fuck it. And then Fact, now, right? shit fucked up. Suddenly, it just fucked Ooh, up. Yo, can we watch... Um, you want to see... Nah, can I we watch see... Fabio fight nah, bro, the beat, nah, bro? Nah, bro, bro. Nah, bro. Shut up that nigga, bro. Shut up that nigga. Shut up that nigga. You say, yo, bro. Kanye's fucking right now. I'm not wasting this opportunity. I'm gonna keep rapping, nigga. Please, bro. The baby's not really that up as Fabio right now, bro. Can we watch the baby fuck up? No, no, no. Because Fabio's is crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. The baby was not there. We watch both. Because right, right, he's because just be fivey, bro. The baby's like, I don't remember right, there being issues in his part. I, yeah, I don't remember it being issues. That was when it started, like during that song. Mm. That was when he threw the mic with Marilyn Manson. Oh, what? Yeah. Off, what's it called? What's that song called? Jail. J- jail. Oh like, yeah, jail that, that was when it started. Bro. That's when it started. I was confused for Yo, a bit. Yo, Marilyn Manson was confused. That nigga did not know what the fuck was going on. That is not a nigga, isn't he? Uh, uh, yeah, that man, <laughs> that white man. He's what? He's accused of like um, some bad stuff. Yeah, both oh, of them sure. were. I'm well, sure. One is a lot worse than the other, though. Guess who's going to jail tonight? Hopefully, that nigga. <laughs> that nigga. Hopefully, yo, nah, the five year one was fucking hilarious. Now, nah, before we even get into this, because now we're going back to just Donda, essentially, but like Donda two, from what we heard. Okay, what do you guys think? Um, that shit sucks. You know the I really, 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 really like the beat where. Where he's saying some shit like, um, I stopped buying Louis bags after Virgil passed. Oh, I like that? that shit. No, the beat. Like the, oh, the, he beat. Like the, the beat was hard. Oh, then he brought the in Jack Harlow. Yeah, it was hard. And then, the yeah, Jack Harlow did his thing on that too, I think. I tweeted that was the worst tribute song The ever. security song was pretty weak, but I, I remember the one? beat sounding nice exactly. to that one. Yep. I remember bopping my head when I was hearing like something about security, security, I remember security. That I was like, yo, how many times he gonna say security? But he, yeah, but Kanye... I think the whole performance, I think his like his like lyrics or whatever, bro, it's just not it. It's mid. Yeah. And the first the track time, that he had with X, that shit was hard. I missed that one. I didn't even get to see that, that one. That shit was hard. I think his like, verse was bad on that too. Really? Yes. I thought it was pretty smooth. Travis sounded cool on whatever Very song he good was. Hook. I was like, I never heard that flow before. Very good. I didn't even think it was Travis. When? Exactly. Take your hot run. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I was like, that, I was like, that's that Travis. Was Travis. Like, that's Travis. Wait, wait. So I don't know if I heard him correctly, but was that Baby Keem on one of them? That was. Yeah, he is on one of the songs. Oh, For the Why? first second, that's I thought it was Frank. You keep saying this, but Baby Keem was snapping on this album. Mm. You can't even bro, deny why that. Why is he getting bro? all these mm. chances, bro? Nah. What is going on right, with the bro. Baby Keem hatred in it's the world? It's, it's, it's not hatred. It's like, yo, he's getting no, no, no. a lot you're of hate. great you're features, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You yeah. said that nigga can't rap. He said, he I never rap. listen. He said, I never listen to Yeet. He said, I never listen to Yeet. I'm still say he's a better rapper. But Yeet's a better rapper than Baby Keem. You're hating. That's hating. That's hating. That's hating. That's a lie and that's hating. That's crazy. 
Yo, okay, That's okay. crazy. Let me take this back. Yo, and I when feel the like episode I, drops, I, I better see the screenshots from I that listened, chat. I listened to Baby Keem's album, bro. A lot of great potential, but he ruins it by doing too much, bro. <laughs> Sound like it did too much. Like, it sounded like parody music yeah. at some point, bro. So but you don't think Tomo was doing that on the track? That's crazy. Right. <laughs> Yo, so you can listen to that, but you can't listen to Baby Keem. Me, right. No, Baby Keem is nice. It's all in doses, And I bro. do think he can rap. I feel you. And I Not think his, project, his feature on the original Donda was good. Facts, I fuck with that shit. You already know. The bottom of the boom. Hook, the bottom of the bing. This hook, um, I didn't really like it. Maybe because I at the first couple seconds, I thought it was Frank. I was like, oh shit, that's Frank. Oh, you were shit. disappointed? I wasn't disappointed. I was just like, this nigga sounds a little too much like Frank. Mm. Oh, I feel you. Hey, man. By yeah. Rob's lottery, that's busting then because we get some new Frank, but it's not Frank. Because mm. nigga hasn't dropped in a minute. Nah, remember when I said like imitating is cool when you do, like it still sounds well. good, bro? Uh, he ain't do it when it sounds good. I feel but, you. For the first couple of seconds, Hey, it man, great. I like to see Migos back in true form. Yo, yeah. that was mad disrespectful, that was weird. bro. Which Wait, was why? you and, um, Oh, Dawson. Um, yeah. <laughs> Niggas are like, oh, why is Rich the Kid up there? I like, said the same thing. Why, bro? He didn't bro, have a feature history, on there, bro. He does. I don't even know who that on was. That, I don't on know if that, that song. That, but he exactly. does have so a song. why you there? But the song that he does you have for Kanye is on the... Yes, he is. Take Off barely said anything, bro. Like, he actually... Take well, Off said... Literally take Off had like four lines, bro. So why... If he's the fourth Migo, why ain't they take him with them? Because that nigga is not in the same position. He was a solo artist. They got like four projects, bro. What are you talking but about? But he was a solo artist, like by the like by the time like culture dropped. You feel me? Like, so like that's why. But that like, doesn't mean he wasn't a part yeah, of it. Yeah, them niggas been affiliated from the jump. Streets on lock. Four tastes, bro. Four bodies of work are just collapsed between them. Even though I, I will know, say, how you gonna knock on the four people? Nice. Him being Rich there, bro. You know, let's not act like um Rich. What, what? He had that Rich one Trevor, album. The three, first one, three, three. three. That that had the summer on lock, yes, bro. No, it did. It did. Jay sure. Critch, him, even Famous Dex, like. That show's hard. I can promise yeah, nah, you, all, sure, man. you can play Even any that... song from there, bro. And unless it's New Freezer or the other one. Nah, those no, are his don't own do shit. that. We're talking about like Nintendo or like... Yeah. Um... No, there's another one that I just... Y'all are, so, like... y'all, y'all are so much younger than me, bro. That's so wild. Nigga, about two years. that's the type A of year? shit that... That shit was like past me, bro. Holy. I was never... I'm 24. I was never listening to that one shit. Did it again? Did it? Yeah, bro. Just don't know. High, I bro. was never listening to it, bro. I was I'm unfamiliar with it Bro, it was literally played on Atlanta. Really? Yeah. You, I don't bro. pay attention to the music on Atlanta like that, bro. Nigga said I'm gonna torture you. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know that. Just from that, just from the that, you know that. Right. Yeah, I've heard the song, right, but I'm okay. saying like I don't. You say the names, I'm saying I don't. Mm, I hear you. I hear you. Like, nah, I bro, thought, shout I, out Rich like the that kid, one. Though. All right, shout out Rich. What's the kid. that from? Rich Forever Three. But I never listened to that project. What year was it? I've never like saw uh, that. 2017. Yeah. So he can't be mad at someone for not like being like. I'm mad at you because even when he came, I was like, who the fuck is that? No, I didn't know who that was. It's just more so saying like, you know what Richard Kid looks like? Did you know what he looked like before that? Of course, bro. Max, yeah. No, I knew as soon as he came out, I was like, is that Rich the Kid? Oh, snap. So I, I knew it was know. Rich the Kid. I'm still like, why is he there though? Like, who the nah, fuck is this, nigga? Uh, this other nigga? That's funny. Bro, because the funny. thing is, honestly, if no one told me that I was Rich the Kid, I would just think, oh, they're just bringing out random niggas at this point. Because did, <laughs> did, did, did Playboy Cardi not bring out some random white dude? Who's oh, yeah, that? Who's that? That? that is? But he does that you for all. That He's been doing that all but sorts. That? That's funny. I don't know who that is, but you that's also not an artist. That's also not a music artist. I did not question that one, though. It fit the part. Yeah, I don't even want to get to the Playboy wife. card because we, we don't get person. to Playboy card. He deserves that his own topic, bro. No bullshit. Just but can fire. we can we play this one? I just want to hear these niggas I mean, fight, fight the playback. Kanye is also. I will say, yo, shout out to Kanye like, for the aesthetic of like this performance. The water. Yeah, the visuals are very great. Yeah, the visuals are tough, bro. I never understood <laughs> niggas that wear color contests. Playboy card, he's nice. No, I think. he's not. <laughs> I think as soon as I saw Kanye, I was like, it'd be hard if he was wearing those color contacts and he was. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, can we can we observe Playboy Carter real quick? I paid for this. Well, I guess technically. But I'm saying this the other day though. Before I saw this, when I just saw this part, I was like, yeah, fit kind of hard, nigga. No bullshit. I was like, the pants are tough, the jacket's no, tough. Listen to him, but bro. Then, like, I, I still think it's hard. This nigga's not fit. in his right mind. Cardi scream goes hard though. I don't know what's done. Like, I didn't even know the playback was off yet because I just thought that nigga was off. I don't know enough about, like, live performances. How does that, how does that happen? Like, is it, is the music so far away that he just can't hear it? He just hearing it delayed. When yeah. it gets to, by the time it gets to him, it's like, are you like a second yeah, like, behind? Yeah, delay. You gotta understand, like, for him to be rapping at the same way, time. They have to center this shit. Like, so it's like, even if you take the head piece off, room? you gotta catch up, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Mm. At all. The point is, everybody should be wearing the earpiece that's giving them, 
like all the time, like okay. noise, but. Oh, so they come for the delay and shit? That's hard. I didn't know that's how it worked. Now, li listen to this nigga. I feel so bad for this nigga. A plus effort. Facts. He never stopped. It don't though. matter. He was still hard, bro. This is the hardest part of the whole performance, bro. Not for sure, because he actually rapped. This nigga is wild. What the fuck is with this nigga? He just, <laughs> he just existing, bro. <laughs> Bro, he took a pause. Like, right, maybe I could catch up. <laughs> yeah, I had to minimize the screen here, bro. It's cringing to it. I don't know, bro. If I'm him, I'm walking away from that shit. I can't say I ain't trapped. <laughs> bro, he should have just let the fucking song play, bro. He did that for the whole Dawn the Two shit. I like the moon, bro. I don't know, bro. shit's hard, bro. He's just not doing a good job. The song's still fire, right? No, he that's not good. The song is great, bro. It's, it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame that this shit's not on on beat, bro. I think Connie's like, yo, can I leave? Yeah, Connie's just, they're like, get the camera off him, bro. Get the camera off him, bro. <laughs> they're like showing everyone but him because they're like, it makes it more noticeable that he's off. All these niggas are just walking around like, yeah, this, this some shit, huh? This is ass. <laughs> yeah, once you're in it, you're in it, bro. That's crazy. Nah, they could have took a five minute break and just like, I don't think you already oh, made this week two hours, sure. bro. I don't, I don't. That's what I'm saying. Like, why didn't they just pause and like get shit right? I keep it a bean, though. Pause it. We didn't even get to the last just screen. Watching one this in the theater was play. a very pleasant experience. Why is that? Because like, niggas is clowning from, it. From Jack, Pardo, from Jack Harlow off, I mean, all, like, then, from like, that on, part, yeah. that shit was busting. I'm, I was like, before that, I was like, y'all niggas is enjoying this shit, bro. After he just made you wait two hours, you're not gonna act like this shit's not this fucking shit show, bro. Like it just looks really cool, it sounds good. And then you were but happy then when it started actually fucking became up, a real like, shit show. Finally, <laughs> I knew it. That was, was a like, real yes, shit show. Yes, the chaos. <laughs> this is a movie for me. This is what I came here for. I wanted to see some shit, bro. Like, I want to see something happen. Y'all trying to get to these uh <laughs> these these topics and questions submitted by the community. What's Let's that? hear. Let's hear what the community got to say, man. I feel like oh, y'all so niggas. This. Don't the Kanye shit. Want to talk about? I mean, <laughs> what's bro, that? There I was, was just, like, just no. I'm still... never, I'm never going to another Kanye type event, bro. Like, I feel like that was some so bullshit. That was a damn shit. Free. That was a damn shit. I was sitting in my tour, chair like, yo, this man Nate's really. If that nigga like going to it, though, I might right. cop some tickets. I only, I'm not going. That shit. It depends on who's. I've never been to a Kanye tour. It depends who's going. I think Cardi might be affiliated with that. I think the only reason why I went is because I wanted to talk about on the podcast, and I felt like some of us should go to see what this experience is like because it was like a national thing. If an, if one artist, if you have one artist do the same kind of album, you know, I guess release in a big venue, live streamed, who would you want it to be? Like this type, like some, yeah, somebody yeah, an, else? Yeah, an experience. But more kinda. finished demo? Mm. Like complete, complete. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Beyonce would kill that shit. Doesn't mean that that's, that's the, the one I would want. That's the first name that came to mind for me. I just, I, I just, that's the name that comes to mind because I know would she would dope. kill that shit. And the performance would actually be good. But Beyonce's a good answer. As a fan... I want to hear. You about to say something I would that's say, not even like a stadium I, I, artist. I would say Childish Gambino. That's my. That was my second option. I would like to see a Travis concert. Travis, yeah. Yo, you know oh, what happened at the last concert? Which is why I feel like it would never happen again. I feel like it would never happen again. Another one you would attend. You said Yo, Gambino? no bullshit, mm -hmm. Kendrick. Duh. I thought that was if, what you were gonna I, say. That's why I was surprised that you said Beyonce. That's why I was like, no, no, Beyonce's say. the first one because like, like that, that's what, she's known for doing these big ass performances. See Kendrick do that little but dance if again? Kendrick gives us new music like that, it. where he's Yo. giving us finished music, he's doing this whole like visually visual experience. Yeah. Fuck yeah! What did you see what he did with the Super Bowl? Imagine what he Dame does Vegas. with a whole Zero. hour too. Yeah, that was cool. The Super Bowl was cool, but the weekend though. Eh. Bottom. You want to eh. see that? Bro, are I mean, you what kidding is he gonna me? do other than just like stand there and sing? 
Nah, he's not known for dancing. He's not known for moving around or doing anything crazy. Wait, something I think Travis did when he was on tour. Nigga had the roller coaster and shit. It's just like, yo. So what? What would he do on a bigger scale? He ain't ride the roller coaster though. I think he did. Some what? Tour. I think he did. Oh shit! <laughs> I think he Wait, did. Didn't he perform while on the roller coaster? That's what I'm saying. I think some yeah. stops he That's was crazy. on the movie roller coaster. Oh, no. yeah. I think That's so, bro. So because in the background you have like the whole like spirit thing that he had, but then he also had like the roller coaster going back and forth. Astro World attendees, I understand. I would have yeah. pulled up to that shit too. I didn't know that he was riding a roller coaster while rapping. That's fire. That's a crazy visual. That's hard to have the camera on the front and he just goes so up. Give him a, a bigger scale, he'll really only do crazy. bigger things. That's you fire. might ride the roller coaster, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What you mean? They, might, they could set up roller coasters for people to hop on during the tour, oh. during the concert. That'd be crazy. It's like a whole line. That'd be crazy. That's kind of. So you want to no, see the weekend? No, yeah. No, no, no. Still Travis Gambino. Mm, okay. Yeah, Donald would do a great job wait, wait. with that. That should be hard as fuck. Why is that? Because I feel like he's, whatever he comes up with, would be he's insane. been putting a lot of work into creating like ex- like experiences for each project, like since uh, after camp. You feel me? Like since because of the internet, like in that kind of like rollout process, he's been like everything is like world building. So being and I've, also I went to the the like the show that he did at TD Garden for the This Is America tour. Which is like right after um, Awaken My Soul. Yeah, Awaken My Love. My Awaken love, My Love my dropped. Bad. It was like that show was basically kind of like what Kanye's doing, just like better. He had. Because he did a lot of like, he did demo versions of the songs. Like the, when he, the versions of the songs that he performed were a lot different than the songs like that actually dropped. That's why. Mm-hmm. And it was fire. And it was like lights were everywhere. It was a huge, like it was, a, it was an arena. So it's like, yeah. He had a, a ARG website where yeah. fans could, and if, if you don't know, ARG is like, um, alternate reality game mm-hmm. i don't know what the g stands for but i had the headset but basically like it's just like Still encoded me. messages and things so what he did was he put like a string of like numbers inside of a script that he wrote when i think stone mountain the stone mm-hmm. mountain thing was coming out stone mountain, yeah. and in order to hear like an alternative version of 3000, 3000 yeah. you had to like this came out it, it was dropped when because the internet came out because the internet yeah yeah so I forget how. So basically, he had his fans unlock like a, an alternative version of like the song, which is crazy. And I, I want to do something that Ooh. like it's intense. like way before the NFT shit. That's what I'm saying. So, so he's, he's I mean, because he's been telling. That's why. That's another reason why when I see it, I'm like, this is a trend because this nigga been telling niggas to learn the code since fucking 2013, mm. and he was trying to amp like convince his fans to do that by putting this out. You're like, yo, you can unlock a song if you have like the skills in Python enough to be able to do this. That's yeah. dope. And niggas didn't. Like, and encouraged. mind you, because the internet came out in 2013, niggas didn't figure that shit out until 2015. Yeah. Or I guess it was, yeah, 2015. I mean, it's ahead of its time. Duh, nigga. That's why I'm trying to tell <laughs> niggas, bro. I mean, I knew that, but just like, you know, like, it's that just was fire. reiterating Even, that shit. Like, yeah. when, when because the internet dropped, I mean, when um, Awaken My Love dropped, like, having like the virtual reality experience, it was like a virtual, like, reality concert. Like, came with a fucking headset and a VR vinyl. Shit, what's the headset for? The headset was so that you can, like, be a part of the concert. What, what does a VR vinyl mean? So the vinyl itself, it has the vinyl, but it comes with, like, the stuff to, like, put together the headset, and then it comes with, like, a code for you to, like, experience this um, to experience the album like virtually. And they got oh. that shit like it was Christmas, man. Yeah, because that shit was fire. And like, you still got I mean? the headset? Of course. I still got the vinyl too. Did you ever use it after you attended the concert? I didn't. Like, can you to, ever can you use it again? Bro? The concert? Mm-hmm. It's, wow. not, it's, not, it's not a full concert. It's like it's like a 10 minute thing. But it's basically like, it's not just a concert. It's like you're like floating, you're traveling through stuff, you're seeing like images and like stuff floating past you. And mm. it's, it's mad cool. So you can replay it at any time. Yeah, because it can't. I actually, I don't know. To be honest, I haven't tried it since like I got the vinyl because it's like I'm pretty sure like it, something like it expired someone has, after someone a certain has to keep time. it running. Yeah, because yeah, mm-hmm. it was an app, and then, like with the what's it called, the Pharaoh shit. They got niggas watching my like watching my phone, waiting for some like countdown timer, and it was just like, oh, I'm doing like these shows at fucking um at J- uh, Joshua Tree. I remember that. Come to that. I niggas was that. watching our phones for like a week, waiting for a countdown timer to like expire. Yeah, what does it mean? All right, let's get to these questions, so, right? Hmm. I'm going to get to the ones oh, that I know cool. we're not going to answer right now. But just sharing. These are rec questions? Rec questions? Eh, not really. Uh. Right, we got, how can we get blank on an interview? Don't ask and you'll get an interview. And also fill out the form. Like, if you don't, get, if you don't have the form, not busting. Get the form. Ask us about it. We'll give it to you. But asking niggas about it. Is not going to get you an interview. We interview the people we're genuinely interested in. We fuck with a person's music. 
Facts. We gonna listen to it. You feel me? And we gonna and we gonna give them the platform to share that music. So that yeah. that's how we're gonna go about it. The art. But definitely it. express your interest, and then afterwards we'll decide from there. Facts. Set us up. Don't just ask random questions. All right. How about a good for the community episode where y'all do some volunteer gang shit, like feeding the homeless? That's, that's like doing. that's shit that I do in my regular I'm life. That is that is very true. With a camera in front of me because that's not it. the reason why I would do that work. You feel me? Facts. So you would have an issue of like recording yourself doing it because yeah, I'm, I'm I'm so down for doing you volunteer know, you know work. The type of shit that I be doing. You feel yeah, me? It's like I mean, every time you, someone sees your name, it's gonna say artist, community organizer right under it. So yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the type nah. of work. But I feel like recording it. It's like you're doing it for clicks. You feel me? Exactly. Maybe you're doing it to raise awareness, but it's like you can also raise awareness from just like getting involved. You don't need to like see me do it or see like Rob or Eve Thanks. or any of us do it in order to know that it's getting done and know that you can get involved. Like I, like I think I can send you some links so that you can volunteer. You feel me? I was like gonna you you can be out there with us. I was going to say the only reason I could think of right now that we would do that is if we could raise money for it. Like the proceeds that come from the views and all that, but like we're not at that level yet where we're getting mm. monetized. So it's like I don't hey. see the point of doing it right now. Go on Instagram and follow the Be Like Water initiative. And then that'll like you know what I mean get invested in that. We're gonna have some stuff coming up soon where you could donate some clothes yeah, if you yeah. want to. Camera and no camera. I'm just actually real down for that. You know what I mean? Doing some volunteer work. So oh, next time we, next time we get one after we gather the clothes, help us donate the clothes. Sure. I say us, this is not my thing. I'm just involved in volunteering. The initiative so, you're part of. Yeah, yeah. now nah, I'm down. Just let me know, bro. For real. Like seriously. Uh, next one. When we gonna get the vlogs? Who said that? Did we ever promise vlogs, bro? No. We said that on camera. I don't know, man. I feel I like it's because I feel I think like it's because people said it in the comments and we probably responded. Maybe people just want you know. I feel like Tomo like extra content. Planting those seeds of the vlog content because he's been talking about vlogs. Bro. All right, now we can go two ways with it. Top three artists that gonna fall off these next few years, or top three artists that finna emerge these next few years. That's one topic. Okay. Second topic is World War Three. <laughs> just World War Three. That's all like, the verses said. Who's gonna make it? Who's not? War. Um. Right. Oh yeah, I want to start. Maybe we could start with the World War Three because we're not gonna stick with it for long. What? Like, we start with World War Three because now no one's gonna make it after those three. <laughs> nah, nah. But like, crazy. I feel like we're gonna spend a little bit more time on the artists. Want to give y'all you know some time to think about that answer, but. You know, with the World War Three, I'm not I'm too informed. To I'm not too informed on what's going on with Ukraine and Russia. I just know Russia invaded Ukraine. Yeah. They're trying to, you know, be the Soviet Union once again. Is that you know, is that what they're trying to do? Yeah, USSR? Trying I think to they're. The um, they want a piece of land. They want a certain piece of land. Facts. But the, that per piece of land is like all the way on the western side of the country. So, so they have to like, go through the entire fucking country to get to, to get to that. Wow. There's a lot of layers behind it. From my understanding, things like. In any world war, you know, you always have an aggressor who's trying to conquer a piece of land because either it's a trading port and, you know, that's, you know, accessible for their resources, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, Ukraine trying to become a part of NATO. And it's like, yo, if they become a part of NATO, yeah. that's only strengthening the Western influence near our country. And that's, yeah. you know, affecting our policies and our politics, that's which right. that's. Oh, that's tight. Or even no believing bullshit, that you have no right like, to that land. You, you feel me? Like. Because if you're looking at it from a Russian perspective, it's like, yo, like, why are you guys trying to get closer to our borders? Because then what? It becomes a part of NATO and they set up, you know, U.S. military bases over there. It's like, what do you, what type of time are you on? You feel me? Mm. But all that to say, that doesn't give a reason for, for Russia to invade the country, though. Facts. So Wait, is it, is there's it, a lot of layers behind it. I mean, you have a right to do that ever. Yeah. For real, for real. What's crazy, I feel like a lot of the Russian people, though, are on the same page. Like, they don't want to be inside in this conflict. Yeah. Yeah. So like that's that's another element that we haven't really seen before, I guess, because like yeah. now we have social media. So Maybe. like no, Russian I people, we've seen it, we kind of seen it with the Vietnam time. more. I feel yeah. like it's been like that even a lot. I think Germany. I feel like people. It was more so they didn't they didn't support Hitler. It's just know. like yo, out of fear, it's like yo, we have to. Oh no, no, no. I think, the, no, I think, I think it was I don't different. Think the German Germany. people, no, were the like citizens, like gang man. Nah, bro. Really go back and look. Like, yeah, citizens well, were not on um, board with. It. Can't go back, Eves. I'm not time traveling. <laughs> There's documentation. You feel nah, me? Bro. There's documentation. <laughs> nah, bro, I, I think that's people say that. Like, but I feel like that was more from like soldier fear. perspective, not like the citizens. Because mm. the citizens are kind of just going, like they're going with the flow because they're just like this is like propaganda. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, it's bro, like this you is what, this blue is what eyes this and blonde believes. hair, like, and someone's telling you you're the elite, like they're like group. They're like no bullshit. They should. They should bow down to us. I think that Russia is wilding right now. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I don't think you should be invading anyone else's territory and trying to, and bombing them 
and fucking trying to kill their people like just so that you can yeah, have control. Fuck. That's so fucked up. And then pair that with like the fact that like I'll say this: my stakes in this are very low. This is white on white. You know what I mean? Do what y'all got to do over there. I'm sorry. Nah, this is a global humanitarian issue, though. It is. It is. You know what I mean? That's that's what the UN was made for to avert global conflict like this. You feel me? I understand. I just also know it's not niggas. And so, for now, once ni- exactly now, <laughs> once niggas get involved, I'm locked in. You feel me? Don't, how do you feel don't about do my people like this? How do you feel about um, our country bringing in us to go? Yeah, getting drafted, right? Not necessarily, but like maybe though. <laughs> like, I mean, I yeah, right? potentially. But how would you feel about? about I'm not it? trying to get drafted. Oh, I hate, to see, for the I hate to see my nigga fighting, even get drafted. Just the idea in general, of fighting for the country. <laughs> but when it happens. <laughs> Hold on, because like Nate, Nate, Nate's my focus away. What did you say, bro? I'm sorry. How do you feel about fighting for the country, right? Essentially. You would want to do it? No. Nah. You would want to do it? Bro, I already told you. They started drafting me. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got <laughs> issues. They started hitting the Bart Simpson, bro. <laughs> I got issues. <laughs> what, what about you? You, you said he shooting himself in the leg, though. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was shooting Dang. himself in the leg. Hell yeah. I'm Join the war, bro. I'm not gonna Fuck lie, that. bro. It's like fucking, bro. bro I think I'm gonna drive my niggas with me, though. That's the thing. I'm not going by myself. I gotta, I gotta be a hit up the next day. You gotta drive the year. <laughs> <laughs> no cap, bro. Let me a card lobby, bro. Bro, bro I will say, say America. <laughs> yeah, this is bad. Don't draft this, this is directly to America. <laughs> Clearly joking. America has done a shitty job at fostering patriotism. Yeah. In these last. A couple decades, decades, maybe like in 30. our communities. I don't know about nah, bro. The, the whole masses, country's divided, bro. bro. Like we don't have a one con. That's I why mean, to a certain war, extent, country's always been divided. To a certain extent, you may not have a crazy love for your country, but you do love where you're from. Would That's you prote- the thing. How much would you? You don't say you sex? love America. How much would you, you say you Boston? love Boston? You feel me? Eh. Nah, Damn. no. I'm not, I'm not expecting that energy from you. Being from Boston, I can also say there's a lot of shit about Boston I don't like. Mm, but true, you would yeah. fight for Boston. Like, you wouldn't leave Boston. It's like <laughs> aliens were invading. But it's like, no, but you know like, what I mean? Imagine the war. Like, there's a war going on in Boston right now, bro. It's called gentrification, bro. That's facts. You're fighting she against is fighting, that. Yeah. That is facts. Okay? Okay. So okay. You're, you're willing to protect your community. Yeah. You feel me? You have a stronger tie to your community than the country itself. As oh, a no, I agree with you. I was just saying that, like, if they start bombing Boston, I'm going to be like, well, <laughs> nigga, I'm out of here, bro. What the fuck? To Pittsburgh, we are. No, no, America is such a privileged country. Did you see the map? We, no, no, we Yo, are privileged. I have never sure seen that. war on its land from other countries. Yeah. It's a privilege. That's a fucking That's, fuck. you feel That's, me? A, That's a privilege. To see the videos on Twitter. Bro. What's up? This is why that shit is crazy. He sent it, okay, why is the Ukraine conflict such a big deal in all of Europe? Imagine living in Colorado and watching Missouri be bombed. That's like living in Germany watching Ukraine. Bro, they're close. Everybody's close to each Autumn other. Autumn niggas right next to each other. What's this? Autumn niggas right next to each other. Whoa. Mm. Oh, shit. Wait, why are those areas in northwest, uh, northwest Just look, highlighted? Let's zoom in. It has, like, the name of, like, Denver, near Denver. Well, the West Coast is closer to Russia than the East Coast. Why would they want to bomb Helena fucking Montana? Because those are where some military bases are. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, dude, I see a lot of dots over here. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's not So, like, fire, if these bro. niggas is like, yo, they start, I'm like, damn, I'm out of here. Bro. I'm going to just flex. Yeah, nah. New York City's in trouble. If, <laughs> you're saying this shit. Oh, you're saying this shit nah, the other if, day. If, if Israel like, has this, like, oh, this dome, what is it, the Iron Dome mm-hmm. that can mm-hmm. automatically shoot down missiles, bro, you don't think we got that? I, no, 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 for, no, sure. for sure. We do. We got to have something. But you got to understand. We have the technology, but we don't have it, though. I'm no, sure I think I keep it on the ground. Yeah. No, I'm saying, like, it's not up, basically. Like, we um, scan like, whatever like, comes through those waters, bro. You got to remember, nigga. You got to remember, nigga. That's the thing. That's the thing. It's mad funny, because it's like... When it's not wartime, when it's all peace, it's like, bro, what the fuck is going on with this military budget, bro? That's There's true. way too That's much true. money in this shit. And then it's wartime. You're like, I if hope drafted, y'all been bro. using that money wisely. Y'all better been using that shit wisely. Y'all protect the I still want, you know what I mean? I feel like. It's um, still defund the police, but yo, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to me, what I look at it is like this, right? They're going to look at this podcast. They're going to look back and be like, this nigga Young Raw talking about. Joe Byron disrespecting nigga and all the shit. They be like, when this nigga get drafted, he gonna like show you this. He's like, no, no, you've been called directly to the president's office. That's crazy. He gonna just. What's this? 
What's this nigga? What is this? Front lines. Front lines. <laughs> front lines. Front lines. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all ever watch that, uh, that Tom Cruise, Cruise movie? <laughs> it's like The Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. That shit was hard. Yeah, that's a fire movie. Imagine that was my life, bro. <laughs> Just dying over and over again and respawning, bro. It's oh, funny, bro. No cap. They be like, yo, we got a whole front line of just Young Rob. I'm about to say that's a losing team. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, they must not want to win the war. We don't win the war. But yeah, that's no, what I was saying. I'm like, yeah, you draft me, bro. I don't know. We might not make it. We're not. Because the thing is, I'm going to like be like, yo, all right, guys. I'm going to give the, like, the wildest pep talk. Like, yo, we're in the trench. We're like, yo, we're locked in. We're going to get this gun. You mm. know what I mean? Like, they're not better than us. They're fighting. What is freedom we're fighting for right now? You feel me? Same way that our ancestors fought for freedom. The same way that we're here. We're doing the same thing. Only now, we have the power to actually make a difference. So who's with me? They be like, yeah, we're going to go out there. Go like, outside. Everybody's running around <laughs> like chickens with their heads cut off, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm like, nigga, I'm in Yo, the trench. Nigga. The thing I'm is, in. we're making jokes and, 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 you know, like, you know, you find humor in, in dark times and shit. Yeah. But what Ease is saying was Correct, bro. We're definitely very privileged. Like when you see those Facts. Twitter videos and people literally in their houses recording uh missile, missile flight, uh, like yeah. flying by them and they got it, like they have s- rooms in their yeah. basement, their bunkers, you ready know what for, I mean? Like ready for like, shit like this. They, they and way before this event, like, you know, this has been fostering for about a year or, or more yeah. with the Russia, minute, you know, planning since, to threaten since what, Crimea, to, since to, for a minute, bro. For, uh, to invade. Track, exactly. Facts. So just imagine, like, you buying a house and you got to consider, like, yo, the bunker looks smooth. Like, when when times come, like... Yeah. Like, your house is ass. Like, my bunker's busting. Like, oh, like, shit, my I bunker ain't bunker is busting. Like, imagine crazy. not having an unfinished basement during those times. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. But the, way I, look at it, the joke. way I look at it right now, too, is that, like, I'm joking about this because it's more, like, white-related. When it was other... When it's, like, other countries, like, you know what I mean? I'm just like, bro... Like, why are niggas nah, doing this? You feel me? It's like, this shit's so, like, unfortunate for these people. And I think, like, there have been, like, there was, like, the comments that have been made, like, just on social media in general by, like, the Ukraine. I'm like, nigga, they're privileged in even getting bombed right now. Not, like, saying them getting bombed is the privilege, but they're still privileged Take even that, though uh, they're getting bombed. You're going to have to explain that one a little bit I just explained it. They're still privileged even though they're under, under attack right now. You feel me? Have you seen the tweets? What tweets? Oh, uh, like, see, like you don't check Ukraine you official you? page. Yeah, like, bro, tweeting, these like, niggas over here just sending out random Russia shit, like tag what Russia think. and tell them, like, like, what, like, what? Like, that's not some, like, I'm not, like, that's, that's a form of propaganda in itself right now, though. That's what I'm saying, but I'm saying, shit. like, using the way Twitter to, to, like, use the world war. to, like, send direction their way to be like, yo, you guys are wrong, don't do this, and it's like, yeah, yo, man, tag Russia and then a war, that's a very privileged form I feel you, because you got niggas, you got niggas in countries like Yemen, Somalia, and others, like, so you I'm don't saying, even have the option to do that. Mm. And I'm you. saying that if, if, if they did do it, like, it would be met with, like, much more backlash. Yeah. You feel me? Because like the way that the way that we perceive those oh, countries, is like, like, oh, y'all are, like you're on social media right now. It's like so they must so not be, be it must not bad. be that bad. Exactly. Yeah, type yeah, shit. But niggas aren't crazy. saying that about Ukraine. You feel me? And that's what I mean. Like they're still I like privileged you. in being able to do something like that. You know what the fuck's going on? I mean, I well, they're not. I'm not gonna take away from that bombed. experience, though. No, no, no. And I'm not saying I'm you. Saying, are. I'm saying they're privileged even in being bombed. You feel me? Not necessarily like them being bombed is their privilege. Just off the fact that I they're white. It's the wording. It's just the wording. And I explained it. I said they're still privileged even while being bombed. Regardless, though, my, not facts? my, uh, my prayers are for them. Fuck the I mean, Ukrainian I'm not religious, that was out here, though. My condolences. Are just, I'm just hoping the situation heals itself. You know what the thing is, though? Nigga, you what you want, nigga. I don't go do nothing, nigga. You have to pick up and get to the front line. <laughs> the other day, <laughs> the KBK session, where it's like, yo, like, bro, it can't happen, it can't happen. It's like, nigga, this shit happened two times already. What can't happen? <laughs> a world, world war. It's like, nigga, this shit happened two times. happen? Niggas are saying that shit. It's like, yo, this shit done happened two times already. The moment... America fucking nuked Japan. I was like, oh, there's no, there's no cap to this shit. Niggas are gonna do whatever the fuck they want to do. Japanese niggas was, they was bugging. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They was, they was one. I mean, honestly, it's probably gonna it's be. It's subjective. It's gonna be as quiet. It's subjective that Japan was like a wild I'm not ass saying colonial that. force. I agree with that. I'm just saying America's response. I'm not saying, though, I'm saying like, yo, bombing them was okay. I'm yeah, saying yeah, they, no, were no, they were wild. They were wild. I think I think when I said during that set, uh, nigga two during that so scene, you feel me? It's like yo, that's some bullshit. Nigga, that's a what? Nigga yeah, two. yeah. I can't imagine that shit right now. <laughs> the bullshit. first one already sent the message. The second one is just like throwing, yeah, throwing Did salt it? on that the wound. That was crazy. Bro. Did it? That's a force, bro. I don't know. You didn't need to do it. They didn't need to do all that. The nukes are crazy, bro. I wasn't there. Yeah, like that land wasn't the same for a whole. 
couple still years, not. right? It's still not the same. Radiation is yeah, bro. Yeah, radi- the, I mean, I'm not an expert, but the radiation the levels are still thing, crazy. The over scariest it. thing, I feel like we think that we're safe because we live in a time in which everything is more connected than ever. I think that's what ever. it is. Mm-hmm. Niggas got too comfortable. In reality, bro, I think shit could go left Any in an second. instant. Any second. Facts. I think the only thing that... The only reason why it's taking this long is because the whole rest of the world is just like, yo, let's stack the shit out of our weapons first. You feel me? Yeah, they know what the U.S. Fighting, got, man. and they just <laughs> waiting for, you know, the size to flip. You know, you get China and Russia on the same page. You know how much manpower that is? They've been on the same page. I feel you. Like, that's actually wild, bro. Like, yeah. That's not good, bro. Like, a scary situation. You feel And me? then you got Americans who are like, I'm not even trying to fight for this country. Bro, I mean, that's, oh my we God. We have some secret weapons, though. Like, sure. if we're being honest... Oh, bro, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, I mean, it's the U.S., you feel me? Yeah, I think the U.S. Sure. could fight the war through a fucking interface, bro. I mean, you ever seen the fighters that they control that shit like a fucking yeah. Joy-Con? Like, in Las Vegas, bro, that's some people's job. They just control like drones. And, it's not jo- yeah, whatever, bro. It looked like, you know what I mean? Joy-Con is a Nintendo Switch controller. What, well, what do you call the thing where, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah analog. Joystick, joystick analog yeah. stick, whatever it is. All I know is them niggas is playing PS5 with missiles, bro. Facts, we have a good dollar. So it's like, <laughs> we got the greatest defender in the world. You know, like, I hate you. I hate you. got those hit on the fate of the, war on the Fate of the war on the line? You got oh, one shit. Yeah. 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 Shout out Max Kelly. I want Iguodala. The nigga's on air? Huh? Is yeah, he he's on, on a different show. He's on a different show. Uh, they did him greasy. But, um, Super greasy. all right. The next, the uh, question from the community. Okay, so World War Three came from the real Moses. This next one, Mr. Simeon. Top three artists that going to fall off these next few years. And then he's also asking top three that finna emerged these next few years. All right, let's give it a time frame. Let's do next five years. He said three though. Oh, he said three. Five? He said three years. I think five years is gonna oh, be. Oh no no yeah, no, he, he said, said three top artists. three artists. So okay, let's do that, five years. Let's do in the next five years. Who's gonna be at the like? Who's gonna be? At I think or near the I top think of the five game? is too oh, long. Five, five is. Too long? I think five is too long. I think so three, two, two two years. Three. I think three is good. All right, let's do three. All right, three artists, three years. But we're looking at it from the negative first or positive first. Let's look at uh, it from the fallen off, off yeah, perspective because oh, Gunna's definitely fallen off. I'm sorry, that's his trajectory is going down. I was thinking about it for but sure. This album, but actually his album did is the well. best selling one. That's fine. That's how it always starts. Yo, mm. who have you seen that's in that same position that has fallen it. off though? To be like, oh, that the is go- the more people. Once, not the same. Once all the people listen to it, and they're like, I don't like it. But they're not the same. Yeah. Never said they were the same. No, I'm saying. Seen it before. So let me explain what I'm saying though. Coming from Atlanta, and you know, you know. I'll say Atlanta production is yeah, the mainstream right now. You yeah. feel me? I haven't seen anyone in that lane Happy from there too. fall off. What you wait? It's happening to Migos I need, well I need right to know what's falling off because if you think Migos fell three off, years. that's what we're calling falling off. What, 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 what happened to Migos? Successful. It's happening to Migos right now. Because if that's the point, Gunna hasn't even reached that peak yet. I know. So how's he going to fall off in three years? I feel like this is as big as he's going to get. I don't think so. All right, that's yeah, fine. I nigga. think I agree with that. It depends actually. how creative you get, but I yeah, I this, is, this is this is what, what I, this is what I think. Yeah, I think I agree with what he's saying. Mm. I just don't because like this is this is like there's other people that are in the same camp that are bigger than him already. Like, does it baby, have to be niggas who are hot crazy. right now? Because think about it like this: a boogie's not the hottest he's ever been, but I don't think in three years he's gonna. So you're saying in three years he's gonna be like I don't like this question. Oblivion. You don't like you don't like nothing negative, bro. I think nah, we should nigga, forget. Nigga. Unless it has to do with them children. Stop. Where it's like, oh, Stop. kids didn't do that. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. No, I just, nah, so you want to nah, talk about, you nah, talk about nah. your top three going up. You're like, Rich, the kid? Nah, I can't. I, I'll can't give an be. easy one. I'll give an easy one. Because I'm just looking through Rap Caviar. Because I know the niggas I listen to, they're no, going to be here forever, bro. Okay. You feel me? But Ooh. I'm looking at Rap Caviar. Like, who's hot right now? Yeah. Who are they giving credit to right now? And who do I not see being here in two to three okay. years. All right. I'm looking at Jack Harlow, Lil Dirk, Kodak. I feel like these niggas are staying here. Young boy, he's not no. going nowhere, bro. Yeah, that's true. He's not going nowhere. Young boy's going nowhere. I thought you were about to say the opposite. Yeah. Nardo Wick. I don't think he'll be here in three years. That's fair to say. I don't think so. It's still early. He that's could valid. do some crazy shit, but I don't think so. Uh, I feel like that's an easy answer, though. It is. Yeah, who's up right I'm now? Thinking, I'm thinking that someone up. like, um, what's his name? Rod Wave? That's, that's no, no, no. That's I, seen, I seen Rod that's Wave. Rod Wave also he, himself, he himself already said he doesn't want to do this. Anymore. All right, Moray then, sure. Like, nigga, one of them niggas, bro. <laughs> one of them one singing of the, niggas. One of them niggas right now that's like doing, <laughs> the 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 melodic, like, doing melodic rap that's like, I, I actually sing. One of them, bro. 
Like what the heck, bro? This nigga eat, bro. I, I oh, don't wait, know, bro. I, I got a question. No, what you mean? I'm not just saying because like, what you mean? I'm not just saying because like, nothing in front I'm of you. Yo, hit me up, my nigga. I'm not I'm just saying like that. that. I don't think so. Like, all right, no, that's but, what I can't right, say. That. And that's that's facts. You can have your opinion now. I'm talking about with Rod Wave though. That's not a good answer because he himself is really vert, that, like, he's vertly he has said. I am not trying to be in the game much longer. Now, is that so that's a, different a answer response now. to where he see, he's seeing himself go? Nah, he's just not happy if with If anything, then the Rod Wave industry. is a perfect answer then. Mm. So I'm right, saying I guess, right I guess it is. Wave, I guess it is. I feel oh, like that's a given really... answer. How about that? So wait, what's the reason he said he, he, answer, he doesn't man. want to be in the game anymore? The he just doesn't like the oh, lifestyle. Man. He doesn't like the way, like, the politics. Are, so he's just like, yo, like, this isn't what I thought it was cut out to be, so I don't want to do it anymore. But he hasn't fulfilled his contract yet, so who knows where that's going to go. I'm going with Rod Wave. I'm going with Gunna. And I think I have to pick so like a spicy one for number three, so I'm going like to sit on that. Y'all think Polo G's sticking around? He's really popular with the Could. kids. Good. Um, the kids, the teenagers. He's like... <laughs> Good. That nigga's like... Uh, I don't know. I, Even I, though I think he's overrated, I think he could stay. In unless he reinvents years, sure. invents himself. I'm just going to say artists that I'm not a big of. Fair enough to that's what I feel like with. the answer is going to come down to, and I think that's the wrong way to look at it. <laughs> Fuck with Rod Lil TJ? I didn't even... Lil TJ? So yeah, facts. I call sign that. It depends. Kid Leroy? I can see him falling nah. up. You're bugging. No. Bro. He's yet to I agree with speak. you, but I think that's... They got the machine behind that nigga. There's going to be another white boy that they just What's that nigga's name? The white dude? Lil Zan? Not Lil Zan. What's the other one? Lil Skies? Is that his name? Glaive? Is that his name? Lil Skies? There's a couple. All them niggas the fell off. That, that whole generation. The one that was all Kanye and, album and that niggas is like gassing right now. Lil Perk, what's the name? Lil Pump. No, 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 no. No, on Cardi's album. Kanye's sure, album. Sure, whatever. The you one said. that was in the picture with them niggas. Oh, it looks, oh, you talking about um Young Lean? Young Lean. Yeah, oh, Young Lean. He has a cult following, and it's not really even Young like Lean, that crazy. But he's not even up to fall off. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, maybe not Young Lean. Oh, I got a good one. Actually, nah, it's not a good one. Who? Who <laughs> I was gonna say Meg. But she got enough core you know fans. I, I don't think, think she'll think ever. Right. I'm putting get this like somebody on that famous. list. Or big. Don't do her. Music. Don't do her like that. Who's he? Who's gonna say? Don't do her like that, man. All right, I'm not gonna do it. Who's no, gonna no, say? No, no, no. Who's he gonna mind, say? We gonna, we gonna keep it at the top. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> nah, I have, a, I have an idea of who you might have said, but I don't know if that's what so you were gonna say. So let him share, bro. Nah, never mind. Nah, nah, don't let Eves, bro. Eves been wearing he's a right. cape these last couple hey, weeks, man. The thing is, he's right. It's not even worth. It's not even something to say. Sweetie, nah, I don't think she's up. She's not up. She's not up she's no more. What? She cut her hair and that's all. <laughs> what? What you mean by that? I don't think she's saying bad. like I just don't see the momentum as much. Like Sweetie kind of turned into like the advertisement hustler girl of the now. Year. Yeah, bag chaser of the year. Wow. It, was, it was hustler. Cause I barely been, I, we, I think we were just trying to figure out what it was called, and we just kept saying mm. bag chaser. But yeah. Um, Yeet. I, I don't listen to that nigga off, bro. Yeah, bro, I'm not saying falling off, but years, all these niggas yo. done. So those are my three. I think I doubt it. Yeet and uh, what's I, name? I also think he's Rod still Wave. gonna get higher, and I think he's gonna get higher in that one year, and then those following two years fall off. If you heard, I think it's already happening. Lil Uzi in 2016, bro. You wouldn't think. That's what Total Life would come you out. You wouldn't yeah. think. Didn't That's it, his biggest song. Didn't exactly. it drop? Five years though. It, it dropped no, in 2017. Four years? Three years? It might have been three years. Yeah, it might have been three years. I thought it was 2018. Yeah, whatever. Um, whatever. What's the question you asked about Lil Uzi? You would have never thought like, would, he'd be as you big as the that he's at. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's cemented, I think. He's sure. the same place. I wouldn't have thought he would get as big as As 21 Savage, I think. They're cemented. They're in the game, bro. But yeah, I feel you. Like, like some people are generation. just in and they're not coming out. Yeah. Like Lil Yachty's just in, he's not coming out. No, no, no. Lil Yachty he's not might, in the same tier as Lil Yachty might leave. Playboy Cardi, I agree. Playboy Cardi can do he's all way, that bullshit, bro. That was hard. That nigga has enough cold fans, he'll be good forever, bro. Not even a fan of that nigga. That shit was just hard. That was not hard. This that nigga has fire. five brain cells <laughs> left, bro. This nigga's so brain is fried, bro. <laughs> so Yo, no, no. That I, nigga has five brains. <laughs> no, no, no. That's crazy. Playboy Cardi is fried, bro. <laughs> like and I, and that's one of my favorite. Here, like, ah! Was my favorite one of my favorite artists. The shit he's on now, I don't really care for. But is it that or is it just so he's just not a rapper no more? So I'll go with those three. He's still a rapper. You think Are so? y'all gonna say y'all three? I was having this conversation with my boy the other day. So it seems like he's just going full rock. Niggas just trying to switch into like Wendy released a rock song. That's the thing. Every album is the getting tour. more and more tour, towards man. that towards punk, image. Punkish. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Even him doing the whole fucking like Metallica kiss face kind of. I don't think he's ever gonna Metallica. lose. What is it? They didn't. Kiss, they didn't wear. Kiss, it was just kiss. kiss? Uh, the thing is, like, he's going I'm punk, but the sounds that he's generating are not 
Facts. Punk. And that's no, no, what I'm saying. saying. With the I tour, say all the time. With the tour, the tour the yeah. songs that he performed, and it's like a different version. And it's yeah. more... The intro. With the rock, you with feel the, me? It's yeah. more... He was doing guitars. a lot of alternative type... That was hard, though. Those intros go crazy. Yo, you know what I want to do that's interesting? I want to see, like, all right, if we're talking about who's going to fall off the next three years, I want to see who f- did fall off I think in the last three, three years. Wow. Post? Yeah. He's, he's expected to release this year. That's gonna be, I think that's, that's a pivotal a wild, album. That's such a wild it, it's, thing to say. It's a, I don't think he's... Maybe it's just he's been too absent. I feel like he's gone to that yeah, point where it's like he's just absent. making those radio songs. But it's like, yo, how long are you going to do that until the niggas are like, we don't... We just have someone else that could do that now. Someone new and buzzing. I feel you. You're not going to find another white person that's going to make that type of music, though. Nigga, we have a... Is, you wouldn't say Killer Roy's in that same type of realm? A white boy, he makes hip-hop, rap songs, and it's... He's in that Post realm. Malone doesn't make pop music. Yeah, he, he, makes, he makes the hip hop like version of that. Kid Leroy is making pop music, so I feel like it's bro. Just, they like, they hmm. both make offshoots of trap, like facts. That's a fact. But I think yeah, it's just like and it's it's, pop a, it's all pop because it's that's what's popular. But at least like, but the Kid Leroy is like most popular song isn't like a trap inspired song. It just has trap sounds, but it's like a pop song. It's mm. like a pure pop song. Mm. Yeah, but his previous most popular song before that was, I don't know. I feel you. And like I said, it's not, it's not that I don't like this question because I'm trying to be uh, mad positive. I just don't know how to answer it. It's a hard question. You want to hear who fell off from 2018? I want to hear y'all who? responses who? to the question. Jeezy fell off. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't even listening. I know, I but even... he had that song, that No Limit shit. I'm just looking at uh, top hits of 2017, 2018. Yeah, do that. Khaled. Yeah, I think it fell off. Khalid. Khalid. Oh, Khalid. 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 I thought you were Khalid. talking about DJ Khalid. I think he fell didn't off. Fall. You know why? They Khalid. were giving it in the room, bro, and it's over. Ah, Khalid didn't fall off, bro. He fell off. He just made a white He just hasn't dropped. But his, like, the last song that he had, even the song that he had with, like, Alicia Keys, so it was going up, bro. I feel like he didn't fall off. He's Kyle. Kyle fell off. And Kyle's my, like, top three favorite artist. So, yeah. Crazy. Wait, wait, wait. And I, he, I, yeah, he dropped the album. He, which Kyle? Which, which K-I-D, Kyle? Kyle. Kyle Harvey. There's another Kyle? No, I I'm spy. just saying his many different Are the names. I Spy Kyle? Yeah. Yeah, Kyle fell off. You was your Kyle. top three? <laughs> My top three favorite artists, not that's all time, wild. but like right, like just at the, in mean? that moment. Ayo, no, 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 currently, like, I, like Kyle's one of my favorite artists. Wow, but his music's not that good. Big Shaq, man's not hot. Remember it's that? because of like all the stuff that's that like, it? like I wouldn't be rapping if it wasn't for Kyle. Really? I mean, hey, like that's I like one of the only reasons why I even like make music. Because oh, right. I was listening to his music when I was in high school, and I was like, yo, this thing is nice. I mean, mm. like he's not like a lot of these niggas stayed around though. Not rapping about the bullshit that I be hearing other niggas rap about. It's mainly the same people. Damn. I fuck uh, with Kyle. Yeah. Kyle ain't fall off, bro. I niggas, man. I mean, look at that. Nice. You got Drake, you going Juice World, like Travis. To the tour, man. It's a, who submitted this question? This is a really good question. Okay, it's a hard I question. Got, I got. I'm thinking of the opposite now. Who's up? People going up. I'm not. I'm gonna leave this to y'all because I'm not even in tune your, with the new music. Can we get responses though. Like, I feel like y'all need to answer. The I question. said Lil TJ. That's what, he's, he's supposed to go with three people. And my fucking a boogie with a hoodie. All right. Can we combine our answers? Hey, Boogie didn't already. If that's the case, then all of us could have just said them? one. I threw three niggas under the bus. I threw like eight niggas under the bus. I'm waiting for y'all. Like, all right. Um, I agree think. with Lil TJ. I, I fuck agree with. with um, I fuck with Moray. I, I think Gunna, I I think Gunna will find a way, them? but. Really? I think Gunna will find a way to stay relevant. I think so. The same too. way with Migos, bro. True. The same way, like, as long as. You're doing shit outside of the music and always keeping yourself relevant through Chance, shit outside. So. Chance the Rapper. That and was a fall off. Yeah, and unfortunately Vic Mensa as well. I feel like you he's, think not, Chan- well, he's Vic, not going to get Vic Mensa, I don't know what happened. I don't think he ever got up But you think Chance is going to fall off? You, no, Chance yeah. fell off. I think he's going to fall off. Unless his next off. project is not a, a return to form, he's done. Smino return said it would be. What form? Smino said it would. He said, I hey, trust he said, Smino. He said, that nigga but, is the next nigga, to come up. I said, that's one of the people on my list. Yeah, Smino, Smino, definitely, bro. All right, yeah, nigga, I don't have it. I don't. Emerging, emerging, he's emerging. Not, he's not, ne- you're not pessimistic enough. I'm just looking through my likes and shit. It's like, I said, I couldn't look at my own library because yeah, yeah, like, like, those are actually. I'll look good at my likes artists. and be like, yeah, I know some of y'all niggas not gonna be around. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that for my own likes, but for emerging, like just a bunch of drill niggas. Those niggas are gonna fall off. That's, that whole genre is gonna I fall off. I was waiting for someone to say. <laughs> that's my answer. I was waiting for someone to say that? all the drill, drill. niggas. <laughs> just like that's drill wild. music in general, right? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> like, clap for that. Clap for that. That's that's the one right there, man. Fabio gonna be here in the next three years. Fabio, uh, maybe. If he said close to the he keep that work ethic up. He could do it. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, because the thing is, if his, I feel his like next project can. There's like an attack on drill with New York mayor niggas getting locked up all the time and shit. Bro, That's my final I don't answer. Think, I don't think it could last. ESTG emerging. If he's not emerged already, ESTG is the one from the Tyler album. Like, 
Who is this? Doug. No, it's 42 Doug. 42 Doug. I think Doug he'll fall off. That nigga's hard. I think 42 Doug will fall off. I don't. It's <laughs> it was hard on where Detroit is at right now. Musically is interesting, so I don't know. I have to wait another year to see what's gonna happen. I know Big Sean's been hanging around all them niggas a lot. I don't know if they're trying to work on a big a a collab I'm project. Give you I don't know. Answers. Ryan, Ryan Jay, Sada Baby. Not just gonna give you the hip hop answers because I feel like that's some bullshit. Like that's not even the type of music I listen to. I'm really just saying a bunch of whatever. Mm, right that's now. true. We was only thinking about rap for whatever reason. So, I think the first name on my list as far as like artists that are gonna be like because it's like near at the top of the game, right? Mm-hmm. Like it'd be mad easy to say a local artist is emerging. I wouldn't nah, say yeah, that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, oh, I was talking about merging though. Yeah, I thought yeah. you was. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, talking about niggas falling off. Yeah, I thought you was just expanding on it. They already did. Happens every time. I feel like it's quicker. <laughs> Hip-hop niggas be sticking around a little too long. Emerging. But okay. you said Doja Cat. I feel like Doja Cat's already at or near yeah, the top. Yeah, he's emerged. Merch, sure. sure. yeah, merch for sure. Same thing with like, you know what I mean? Like Olivia Rodrigo, Lil Nas X. I mean. Corday, where do you put that on? Wow. Where do I? Is he on the <laughs> rise? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what is that even a question? Yeah, Corday's still like on the rise. Mm. You know who I think is going to... Make a big rise, bro, with their next album. Hopefully, I'm praying for this. Denzel Curry. Mm, Sorry, bro. Interesting. Yo, Nate looked at him like, me too, but no. I'm hurt. Denzel Curry, one of my favorite artists. Number two. It's not Number two. Who's number four? So Childish you, Gambino, you saw, Denzel I know you saw Curry. saw the music videos and the Kyle. singles. And Kyle. I've, I've, interesting. I've seen it. I've been watching it. I think that ch- don't chick can play very, play very well. I think. We don't fuck with him. Why? He didn't do anything. What did exactly. He do? That's why they don't fuck with him. They fuck with Uzi. They fuck with everyone from that class. Way more than him. Just off the strength. Of that freestyle alone. I promise you. Bro, not off, they're not going to hold that freestyle yes, against are, them. What freestyle? It comes up every week. 20 XL, the double XL one? 20, 2016. Wait. You know Denzel Curry was in there. He I was. Do. He was. He's, He's the most that. forgettable part of that. I'm hurt. That. Wait, he was in the same room he was yeah. with them? You see what I'm saying? He was the first one. You see what I'm saying? That's exactly why. Like they like that that yeah. right there, that put a cap on where he could go. That's so that's it's not true. Up. That's it's, not true. The moment that, Uzi prove, came out with that meow, then, bro. No bullshit. Prove me wrong. Cause I've been seeing it. Bag. I'm like a huge Denzel Curry Bruh. fan. Every drop. I'm they, bumping it, streaming it, I'm sharing it with niggas. And I'm telling you, bro, they're never gonna do it. They're never gonna play They make different music, bro. No, no executive is gonna be like, hmm. He that Freestyle in 2016 got, got wasn't very answers. hard or whatever. Denzel, no, that's not what I'm, I'm talking about. The fans, bro. I'm talking about the people that listen to the music. Not talking about like that because he can be like he can have all the label backing he want. At the end of the day, it's like he's not gonna like make it to that next level. The people aren't listening to his music. Nobody mm. really listens to Denzel Curry from over here. Like people don't really bump his music. I didn't either until I saw that first single. Which one? The one where he's walking. The walking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That shit was incredible. That shit was fire. I love the beat. I love the switch. Shit's hard, but he always makes music like that. His music all hard, bro. He just did this shit with Kenny Beats. I feel like that's also one of the reasons why his career kind of like stagnated is because he did like those projects. And I feel like that wasn't like up to par with the rest of his shit. I need more music from Stove God Cooks. He dropped a classic with a reasonable drought. I need a new one. I think Conway is going to be up there. Oh, what do y'all think about Griselda? Do you think Griselda is going to be... I think Conway is going to be up there. I don't think they're ever going to hit mainstream. Oh, y'all heard um, Conway's not a part of Griselda no more. Yeah. He's not signed to Griselda. He's not signed to Shady Records. Why do you do no, that? No, no, no. I mean, free agent. You want to see what the word is? Yeah. Play the field. Not see, to say that he won't continue like. to make music with Griselda and maybe brand himself mm-hmm. as the group, like as that trio. They just but but they just more money business wise. Yeah. He's not. He's not makes tied sense. to them. Financially. Makes sense. I think. Yeah. I think, I think Conway hasn't group. done shit for that group. It makes more sense to be a group. You listen to in person, album? not on paper. Who? Conway's album? Not yet. No. Which one? The, the one most one that just dropped. Dropped yesterday. No, I didn't listen to it. Was not really that good in my opinion. It was weird. It was like he's he's just fire in general. All his sure. like that nigga just can't miss. But, but like the it features on the production. and all the shit on there, the production. I was like, whoa, because they stick too comfortably with what this they're is a good real at. shady records album. Which one of them has that interesting voice, like kind of high pitched? Westside, West yeah, that's that nigga. Fuck with him. That's that nigga. Yeah. You heard his uh, "Pray for Paris." Was it yeah. "Pray for Paris"? Hey yo. Hey yo. That, that's re- that first one was really good. <laughs> that one, yeah, the one. Yeah. Was <laughs> that was ease. That was crazy. Yeah, I listen to a nigga a lot. <laughs> do ye? I can't do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Conway the Machine for sure. I think Orion Sun mm. uh, up there for sure. Orion Definitely gonna Sun. break that threshold. And you said it was that first one. You said Smino. Smino. Yeah. I disagree. But I feel like Smino's on your list. 
Hundred percent. Smino is on my list. I don't want to put him on my list. Okay. Y'all hearing this? All three of them. I think Smino. Saba and um, what's her name? No um, name. No name. I feel Saba? like they all peak. I feel like they're just gonna build up a core. I don't think they're gonna get bigger as individual artists. I feel like you could say that about Saba. You mm. could say that about No Name. I don't really feel like you could say that about Smino. You think so? Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like you think so. I'm like, right. Smino's on a. He's just yeah. not getting the recognition he needs, bro. Which is sad. Which is so sad. I think he's an amazing artist. He's yeah. dope as fuck. Wait, so, so this is like, who we think, what we think is going to happen, or what we want to happen, son. what we pray happen. Think want. What was the other one? Both. Oh, is it one? Ryan's That's son. different from who we think. I think it's Think. It, it, yeah, okay. Think. Think is interesting. Hey, Amen. Okay. I will say, I oh, think... I mean, Ryan's son doesn't miss. So like, I was going to say Think. Um, I was... Which, Rima... Rina Sawayama? I think she can get bigger. <laughs> yeah. Not wrong, buddy. Huh? Not wrong. You think so? You know, you know me, bro. I'm one of the biggest pixels out there, bro. Interesting. This tour is fucking her up. Yo, this conversation just hip. shows me I do not listen. Niggas I'm not have no music just yeah, dying, like her. Like she just dropped a song with um Charlie XCX. You peep that? No. Damn. Exactly. Yeah. Because yo, imagine if we have like a younger audience. Remy listening Wolf to is us. another one. Remy Wolf Remy is a Wolf, great I think answer. A lot bigger. That is a great she answer. Get a lot bigger. Someone like Arlo Parks. The great. You know what I mean? Uh. I don't know. No bullshit. Yeah, Remy Wolf is fine. Remy Wolf is dope. hard. He's really dope. Arlo Parks is young. hard. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like imagine, Nisha, I feel like Nisha can be the top of the R&B game. Easily. Young niggas watching this episode and like thinking something like, yo, these niggas don't know shit. Yo, they don't know about I'll give, some, I'll give some names for the young niggas. SSG Kobe. That nigga cool. Yeah. I, I think cool. he's going to be pretty big. I would say Sofago, right but I, I don't really feel don't the same so. anymore. I, I, I think he's on the fuzz, bro. The thing about Sofago. Sofago's a fuzz. I think none and of the niggas. He signs on to Oliver. That nigga nice. He signs on to Oliver because he's just amazing. You feel me? As an artist, I don't think any of them niggas are getting any bigger. Mm. I don't know if Cactus Jack is just not pushing them right. I don't know. Oh, he is one right. of them. I saw a nigga yeah. like, bro, nigga broke his leg. I don't know what happened to Shaq the... West. I don't know what's going on so I mean, I know what happened to Shaq West. I think you do know what happened to Shaq West. Nigga caught a case in his rap. Oh, yeah, facts. Falling off. Yeah. Give me on. I should have said him first. I don't think so, bro. He just need a real cool feature. I don't know. I think he tried that. Right, I'm going to say him, right? I don't know if he's considered big. I'm talking about as an artist, not as just a producer. I think Pure Born will get bigger. Hopefully. Okay. I Yo, think he will get a lot bigger. I'm, I mean, not gonna, I'm not going to co-sign that because I remember 2017, 2018 saying that that nigga was going to be the next no bullshit, right? number one artist, The thing bro. is, I think what happened was, from what I'm seeing, like from the outside looking in, is that he's trying to focus on like Sauce House and like the individual members because he's been really? dropping shit. When it's, not, it's not even him dropping, actually. It's the label dropping shit and like it's, his name is tied to it to like get some buzz and shit. I think they're trying to build up the label and all the lesser known members but like once he stops realizing yo fuck all these niggas. Don't waste your time. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know if, I feel like I once he realizes a single like, member yo, of Sauce House whatever, so you ain't if, and he's back on his own shit I think yeah. he's gonna go. But even yeah I don't know man. Is, I, is I, Sauce House like, something he created? Yeah that's his label. Mm-hmm. Wow. I genuinely thought like not to say the next Drake but just where Drake hold like his position where he that, that he holds, I thought Pierre Bourne would have the torch by now, bro. You Whoa, know what? This is this what? Not, be, not because what Drake would pass it down. But I'm just, I really thought like before Pierre Travis, Bourne before a little baby. I thought, before. I mean, little yeah. baby wasn't like as he wasn't big. In 2018, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah I, I, I don't know, bro. This is this is what this is showing me. Show me that niggas is wrong about everything, bro. We're just all wrong. Pierre Bourne, bro. I we don't know what the fuck is going bro. on, bro. Because it's just like the draft, That's bro. It's just like stardom. It's like Super NFL stardom, draft. Yeah. Yeah. NBA especially with where the sound was going, bro. That's what I'm saying. I thought oh, Pierre yeah. Bourne, especially because okay, yeah, he's right. producing the sound. I agree, bro. After the father stretched my hand, shit, bro. I'm thinking, nigga, Metro's about to be the fucking biggest producer in the world, uh, bro. Yeah. On on everything. I mean, he wasn't he was for some time. Yeah, time. No, I'm talking about like, I'll put Pierre in the same like level as like five like, ten. Like everyone's like, Pierre I need Metro, Metro level. Shit. I don't think he hit Metro level. All right. I feel like he's the same thing. I'm just saying as that like, like it's easy. It's easy to like put people on these like based on where like what you look for. I think he's going past Weezy because he has his own songs. But like in terms of actual hits, I think Weezy's right next to him. That's true. Yeah, right next to him. No, no. So right is next to him, bro. So why is the why is bro, bro, Weezy, bro? I know. Weezy I know who Weezy is. Nah, but I don't think about his songs, bro. I know, bro. Too many. Nah, but he's he's been making shit since Bardic no, 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 no. Two. You're not getting you know that, nah, right? bro. He's been making shit since Bardic Two, bro. I'm very hip. But I'm just saying with Pierre, especially because if Pierre stuck with the relationship that he had with Cardi, and like they really just <laughs> stuck, stuck what together, bro. Well, I'm this whole thing is a what if, bro. No, no, no. But we're speaking on history. No, no, no. You're talking about 2018. You're talking about where it went to be. You feel me? We but know yeah, where it went. When it comes to like their peaks, bro, I think Pierre was bigger than him at his peak. As but a producer. Yes. Yes. Just because how identifiable Metro, 
you 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 would believe that he'd be the biggest because how identifiable his beats are the same way with even you know, if it's Pierre. just a tag to be honest Pierce, I can confuse Weezy with Turbo all what? the time bro that's that's a tag bro that like you gonna confuse that shit yeah, that's just ignorance I don't know. I don't know. Like, you, know I, you know the difference if you know the difference. Yeah, yeah. The, the producer ass nigga, like, yo, you use six different types of hi hats. You literally hear it. Weezy, you can hear it. Turbo. Like, it's that's, literally that's, that's, that's not what we're saying. He said outside of the tags. Mm. Like, but, but my thing is that I feel like it's like the draft, right? The, the NFL draft, I was thinking about it. I think he was talking about like different draft picks because the draft's coming up. Mm-hmm. It's like, there have been so many like busts, bro, when it comes down to this shit. Like, Matt Elon, bro, that nigga, like, niggas, you know, Teron Matthew, right? No. Oh yeah, right. the, the safety for yeah. he he got drafted by the Cardinals. Yeah, yeah. so that nigga's that nigga's like the best he's safety. In the, he's like the best yeah. safety in the game, yeah. right? Niggas, I'm thinking about the Ravens on our team. We drafted Matt Elon. We had a chance to draft that nigga twice. He got drafted in the second round. Mm-hmm. Like that's wild. That nigga is like one of the best players in the league right now. But we drafted a nigga that played better in college. A nigga that's trajectory yeah, was higher. Yeah, niggas like so that, me, bro. So it's like when it comes down to music and shit. Like even with this question, it's like you can really just say anybody, bro. And it's like who's to say we're wrong or right? You feel me? At the end of the day, it's mm-hmm. like that's just the way that we see their trajectory. But the same way that like I'm saying like Rod Wave, and you're saying like he's gonna fall off. Who's to say tomorrow that nigga don't just drop another interview? He's like nah, I love rap. I'm about to be rapping forever. It's true. I want to make music forever. You feel me? That's it's like true. same shit. Like we don't know. That's true. So it's like listen to what we're saying. But at the end of the day, take that shit it's like, like this is just assault. this is all really just like I think this is just a moment. This is what we're like imagining. And what we're a fan of and what we don't like. Hey man, because I'm a fan. Steve Lacey, I think, is going to get bigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think so. Maybe. That would be hard if that happened. Hey, man. I got a, I got a, I got a few picks. I got a few picks. I know he said we didn't, we, we wasn't going to do local, but before I wrap it up, you I know just got to say, on the list, top bro. three emergent, I'm throwing Max Moody, Nate Nix, Young Rob, yep. pro, uh, emerging producers, St. Eve's. That's my final answer. And I want to- <laughs> hey man, Tomo, you gotta be here for that. You gotta be here for that credit. No, I'm joking. We we know how we we they know how we feel about Tomo, bro. Give that man his flowers. Yeah, facts. As man. long as he stopped doing that voice, <laughs> you hating. Everybody That's go listen hate, to bro. what is it? Drop, drop. Yeah, drop. With Tomo. Everybody go listen to drop. Tell us how you feel about Tomo's verse. Yeah, tell 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 me how you feel about that for real, for real. I had a little snippet. Niggas I know I'm not the only one too, cause that nigga knows. He even said it himself, so I'm like, hey, listen. You got Max sitting here like, damn, should I question that verse now? No. Nah, no verse, I, like it. I like it. You say you like it. The verse no, is fire. I'm joking. Voice is just weird. Like I said, nasally. But I think, just, I think it's, it's tough. just nasally, though. I think it's tough. Because I'm one day want to buy my girl a butt for off of uh, SSDs. Mm. For sure. That's a strange aspiration. He said it. His man. life, man. He said it, man. You said it. You said it. That's his deal. That's his deal about BBL. Come on, bro. Get on the way, bro. He's said this before. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This is like, I don't know, bro. Rob, yeah, it's the dude, bro. I'm joking. Oh, that's don't when we had the whole episode about the yeah, yeah, I, was like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you are joking. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, I just want to. I, just, yeah. I don't know. I just yeah, want to take, take the time. I just want to take the time to thank Max for <laughs> facts for coming through. Yo, hit him with the applause, the bombs. What did you say? Oh, this right. one. <laughs> uh, the applause is this one. Got it. Got it. All oh, right. Man. Now, yeah, appreciate you taking the time to come kick it with us, man. Yo, if you watching this, please go listen to Written in the Stars. Right now. We never That's even asked you, you know, what, what that title means, but if you really want to, you know. I wanted to know where did the name come from. That's what it's just <laughs> No, Max Moody. Oh. <laughs> Max Moody? Um, uh, Wu-Tang Name Generator. Oh. No, I'm really? just kidding. I'm going to say that's so crazy. <laughs> that would have been fired. Childish Gambino method. Um, no, nah, I really forget. I don't know. No, I hear you. Hey, but let them know. Let them know. Why, why is it called Written in the Stars? Why should they go listen to it right now? Written in the Stars. There's a little story behind it, but I won't give the whole story. Basically, I, it's everything that I, I um, aspire to be, pretty much. Mm-hmm. It's I want to, I wanted to show everybody what my uh, love is, which is music and all kinds of music. And yeah. all, all of this is part of me. So I put as much of me as I could inside of this uh, tape that I hope everybody enjoys. Find something that they do enjoy in it. Um, and, you know, if you do enjoy it or parts of it, just I would love to hear which songs that you, you enjoy. I like. That's it. Facts. Hey, go That's bump fire. that. We'll see y'all here next week. Like, subscribe. Hopefully on time. <laughs> what you trying to say, bro? Yeah, you trying to throw hands, bro? You trying to throw hands? Late, bro. <laughs> Just saying, no man. cap. Uh, what'd you do toward the episode? Hey, I didn't promise the date. 
Hey man, I'm about to start making promises. That's all I learned. Hey, we'll see y'all. We Bye. out, Trey. Right?